So, two individuals walk down the echoing halls of Fort Carter. One walks with determination with each step, happy to finally give a mission to Division B, while the other, the other groans in disdain. He might finally escape these prison-like walls for a moment, but not without the shackles of his squad. <laughs> they take a few steps forward, and then he stops. He stops and kind of turns to you for a moment, just huh. seeing how the barracks are at the end of the hall and they're almost there. He takes a moment, looks at it, looks back at you, and so, have you warmed up to them at all? Uh, depends on your definition of warmed up. He scratches the back of his head. I don't know. I know you don't want to be here. I also saw how you, uh, moved the entirety of your, uh, bed within your office. I don't know if that's like a fire hazard, but he he thinks for a moment and he just kind of shakes his head. Nevertheless, you're you're gonna have to get used to him eventually. Not like we do anything around here. <sighs> well, you're about to start being you're about to start getting busy. He he looks down. Yeah, no point in holding on this here. He reaches out. This entire time he's been carrying this coffee cup. Here. Hands it towards you. He takes it. What's this? I was going to wait to give it to you in there as, you know, as if you do get on the mission, I get everyone coffee sort of deal. But now that I think about it, it's, it's really not a good motivator when they can just walk down to the cafeteria. I, yeah. Drink well, up. You'll probably need it. Probably. This tired shell of a man starts leading forward. <laughs> <laughs> as, as he turns his back, Corey uh, pulls out his flask and Pours a little bit and then hides <laughs> it again. <laughs> yeah, you do need it. Yeah, you you do that and you, you know, you, you do it. He he starts walking forward. You kind of pick up your pace a little bit to just make sure he doesn't notice that you do that. Take a few steps forward and you bump into something. <laughs> and immediately knocking the coffee out of your hand and all over your chest. You don't know if she was waiting patiently there for both of you to finish, or if, you know, she was just somehow completely, com you were completely unaware of her presence. My coffee. I, I, I'm sorry. What? Adams just like rubs the bridge of his nose. Always the same with you. <laughs> anyway. You'll have to wait to get changed up. <laughs> he just kind of like sighs and starts walking. Waiting at the door for you two. Get it. How is, how is, uh, Corey? <laughs> Corey just has, has a rough time, you know? <laughs> Poor Corey. Poor Corey. All right, so we're going, we're going to go. So meanwhile, currently in the barracks. These two. <laughs> so.
So, wild card. The same person that you won the arcade machine before came back and tried to win it back by betting this machine. It was stacked against you to lose, but luckily for you, Dahi came along. And for some reason, a miracle happened and you won. You would have guessed it. You both have lugged this large machine back across the entire complex, ex excited to play it. Up here. Eugene's been watching you this entire time. <laughs> eating an apple. This machine is heavy. <laughs> oh, no, don't help out or anything. We're fine. Uh -huh. oh. oh, man. Wasn't planning on it. Large crunch of the apple. Ah, uh, this thing was heavy. But what do you expect from Dance, 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 Dance Squared Revolution times two? Huh. I really think they really need to shorten that name. I, cu I couldn't agree more, but it is fun to say Dance, Dance, Dance Revolution, Dance, Dance 2. Oh, wait, I forgot the square. Dang it. You uh, both it don't know how to read. It says Stomp, Stomp Revolution on it. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I don't usually play these kinds of games. Not usually my style. Uh, it's really fun. <laughs> yeah, one of these back where, where I came from. It was this big arcade. Uh, it was great. We had one of those, too. Uh, I was the greatest at this, honestly. At least I think I was. No one ever wanted to dance with me. So I always won. At least I think. Uh, that's... That makes sense. It is slightly depressing. I was great at a lot of games because no one ever wanted to play with me. But that was fine. I was great at them. He smiles. Yeah. Uh, uh, wild card. You, you basically, as you're speaking, you're like setting it up. You, you go and you plug it in. The lights flash up on this machine. You're ready to play. And right before, you know, you get up. <laughs> Start going through the song selection. Very minimal, very minimal song song selection. But you, you know what? It's fine. You you can you can play the same song many times. That's how you get good at it, right? Yeah. And right before you get to play, the door swings open. Three individuals walk in. Ah, yeah. sir. Sir. He just kind of like waves his hands at you guys, Adams. Not really knowing if you were talking to him or your actual squad leader. <laughs> what is that thing? It's Stomp Stomp Revolution. Do you want to play with us? It's really fun. If I'm able to hear that from my office, I'm taking my assault rifle and unloading an entire clip into it. Well, that just seems kind of excessive, don't you think? Really noted, sir. You're, like, speaking figuratively, right? <laughs> he is not, sir. You don't <laughs> see what happened to the last arcade machine we brought in here. <laughs> he looks over to this one that is a shot up. <sighs> I'll forever miss that game. Rest in peace. He lowers his head in sadness. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, Eugene's been trying to fix it, but I'm worried he's going to install a laser or something that'll shoot out at us. I think it tased me last time. Ah, worked as attended. <laughs> Another large <laughs> crunch of the apple. <sighs> Anyways, he walks over here and tosses a very thin file down onto the uh, table. I got a mission for you guys. I'd read that before you go, but I'll briefly go over it. Just so I know you're aware of the points. <sighs> he sighs. We have a mission? Mission? Ooh, yeah. Be? You'll be uh, investigating him, Tanny, and gifted individual na codenamed Battery. He has the ability to absorb electricity and keep it stored in his body. Apparently attacked several trucks from a casino company over the past few days and then made his way back to a small town of uh, called St. Uh, Asaph. Well, that's a fun name. Battery. Describes his uh, powers very well. 
I thought you were talking about ASAP. I was confused. No, 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 battery. I think that's a really cool name for his power set. Anyways. <laughs> Mass pinged him at two locations. One at a gas station and another one at a local bak bakery. In addition, we have his last known residency, so I would start investigating there. Also, uh, gestures to Eugene. Another large crunch of an apple. It, it turns out that uh, they, due to some research he did, it turns out there's some uh, there's a string of missing persons. So I would just investigating it further to see if there's any connection. There's a police station in town that we've had trouble contacting, so you can start there. You can also probably get more information on battery as well. <sighs> Also, I believe Eugene made something for you guys. He says, "You all like slowly turn to him, and he says, tosses the apple in the uh, into the trash can. It misses, splatters across the ground. He does not pick it up, and just slowly walks down, holding a small device in his hands. Just walks over, lays it on the table, attach that to him." That should g nullify his powers for a little bit. Oh. He lays down another device next to it. Looks like almost like a garage starter. You know, the small little device with a singular button on it. That activates it. Can I leave now? He looks over to Adams. He just r rubs the bridge of his nose. Yeah, go. Go ahead. Take off. Good. Don't die. Or do. I don't care. Whatever works for you. And he says, walks out of the door. I don't think he likes us. I don't oh, blame him. That thing he gave us is going to explode. That's what I was thinking. <sighs> yeah. I... It might. <laughs> he, he was trying. He, he for a moment he thinks like, ah, oh, encourage. It won't explode. And then he it's just processes in his brain. He's like, it might explode. It <sighs> might explode. Uh, car card man, whatever your name is. Uh, you take the thing that we stick on him, and uh, girl that I hate. Uh, you take the the button. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Ow! Oh. <laughs> that was a bit forward. Uh, his his memory is just a bit foggy when he hasn't had his grog. Hold on, sir. Let me get you. Up. <clears throat> and that's why he's second in command. <laughs> you know, if there's ever a sense of trying to keep, you know, your obsessive drinking from Frank Adams, there's. He knows. <laughs> he is aware. He purposely yeah. ignores it. <laughs> just That's come fair. back and hand him a drink. <laughs> yeah, just slides it across the table. Ah, thank you. All right. Counterforce will be going on two separate missions during this time, so you'll be on your own tonight. Anything major changes uh, during this mission? During your mission, just give me a call. Anything, really. Just update me when you can. Yes, you'll sir. Pro you'll probably have to contact us for transport. We don't really have anything currently to transport somebody that could absorb all the electricity out of the battery of the car he's in. <sighs> Aye, that makes it a bit of a right bugger. Unless we feel like trying to cart him back on a bicycle. Or a go-kart. That still has okay. a battery. <clears throat> horse carriage? Not if... Ooh, horse carriage could work. You need a lot of horses, though. With that, he starts taking his leave. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mission to be on, so I'll, I'll be seeing you guys. See he, you, sir. he reaches to the door, and then something kind of clicks in his brain for a moment, and he's just kind of... He walks back over. Hey, uh... Frazier. Yes. The detective is already on the scene, so just tell him 
issue 62B has been ordered and get him on his way. He'll probably do nothing but slow you down. Sounds good. You got it. He nods and says, Ted's on out. So, with that, you all load up and make your way to the small town of St. Uh, Asaph. Soon, your first mission as a squad will be underway. A mixture of emotions, but ultimately a simple goal. Find Battery, capture him, and return, hopefully, in one piece. A easy task. <clears throat> An easy task. I don't believe you. <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> <laughs> An easy task for a normal group. But we have these chuckle fucks instead. Yeah. <laughs> Hence why the song was called Chuckle Fucks. <laughs> Yay. All right. So. Grief is a strange thing. When someone's life leaves us, it's heartbreaking for all those around them. The ones they so closely bonded with feel the sorrow the strongest. But with time, that grief becomes distant. The sorrow fades and fades and leaves nothing but memories surrounded by a fog of nostalgia. But what happens to those whose grief never fades? What happens when that person's bonds are so strong that they become a center pillar for everyone around them? So when it is removed, the sorrow becomes ever so suffocating. The fading sun is unable to pierce through the tr thick trees surrounding this lone gravestone. A young man slowly walks forward and respectfully up. He takes a moment and looks at the grave. Kneeling down and Reading the inscription. He rests a bundle of flowers before it, and... Under his breath, he uh, says one word. Soon. Before slowly getting up. He stands there for a moment, turning towards a... Rustling in the brush around him. And slowly but surely, a small man with a slightly hunched back steps outward. Did you bring it? The man says, well, tapping his foot impatiently. Yeah, 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 uh, of course. Um, it, it was no problem. It was nothing. He reaches into his uh, pockets and pulls out a small package, hands it down, and Stands there and waits. The man immediately takes it, it, opens it up, and reaches in and pulls out a small vial filled with this this bright blue liquid. There's almost an unnatural glow to it. He inspects it. Perfect. He says as he puts it back with several others. However, it seems that you have gotten mud on your shoes and tracked it through our home. The young man looks surprised for a moment. Yes. You will need to deal with them swiftly. Only a few more days and it should be complete. You do want me to finish it. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. I'll, 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 I'll go and deal with them sli straight away. The small man turns around and takes a few steps and then stops. Behind him, he 
looms several figures. I would not fail, Francis. Clean up your mess. You won't like it if I have to step in and clean it for you. He begins to make his slow and solemn walk back into the forest. The figures soon behind him. The young man almost uncomfortably nods and begins making his way back down a familiar path within the forest. All right. You guys, let me make sure you're on this map. Yeah. So you guys, you know, load up, make a get into a truck, etc., a van and head your way to Saint Asaph. I am going to assume our old man squad leader is the driver, so Yeah, he, that makes the most I, sense. Makes sense. No, don't think about it. I don't want to think about it too hard. <laughs> uh, but you guys pull up here. It's it's a couple hours drive. It's it's on the edge comparatively to just the UK in general. So you make your way down to this uh t town and you pull up into the most sketchy looking like motel that you've ever seen in your life. And you're like, why are we, why are we coming here? And you, you don't, you don't dare to ask Fraser why. <laughs> Instead, you also just kind of unload yourselves. So this is one of the things I'll point out due to a, it's kind of hard to, I'm not going to ask several artists to, you know, redesign you with more like undercover clothes you just have these pogs and that's just how it's going to be um so for this if there's any point of where you're not fully geared up you will mark yourself i think i figured out what one it was um yeah let's just go with the ninja so if you're say undercover for whatever reason you don't have to you could just wear your counterforce outfit wherever you want you'll be considered that and yours is wearing like normal civilian clothes and you'll be considered pretty much anything major or big would not be on you so sniper rifle wouldn't be on you if you're undercover obviously but you could always it's up to you how to do it you can store your crap near an area and then change into it and go but that's just so for me i can tell when you are in counterforce uniforms or if you're in more casual clothing because you are investigating the area and it can be a little weird if you stroll up in SWAT gear. Yeah. So yeah. Take it away. The entrance is over here. You all just got here. Kind of stretch out your limbs as you step out of the uh vehicle itself wow it's nice to be outside god i haven't been outside in so long at least it feels like it's been so long i want to go back inside all right well, this by the way is a fence that is probably about eight feet tall yeah, you're good. <laughs> just letting you know. I just found it funny, the image of you just going through the fence. <laughs> it's barely a fence at this point. You could probably easily break through it if you wanted to. It, it, it needs care. Everything about this building screams repair or care. <laughs> or lack thereof. Uh, reminds you of some places of home. I... Don't remember anywhere that would look this terrible. Just parking job. Just to, like the comparison of this, you like stroll by this truck in the parking lot. Uh, a, they are parking in two spaces. Who does that? And secondly, it's 
it's oddly like brand new it looks like almost completely brand new comparatively to the entire place it's off setting you imagine it would be like some sort of run down vehicle but now there's just a brand new car there um oh. yeah it has fresh paint stating butt junkyard <laughs> with an address and a phone number on it, it just looks like some sort of business truck yeah. this is a little odd we're in wales everything's going to be a little odd there's is that named after because they have, now have a lot of whales no. Darn. I wanted to go whale watching. I watch there's an lovely. There's an odd kind of ghost town vibe. There doesn't seem to be a lot of cars on the street. Not a lot of noise. It's very unsettling. <laughs> you enter in. You you all kind of look up and see this sign of um reading Evelyn's Grotto Resort. As you all head on inside. Resort. <laughs> generous words, generous. So let me go ahead and paste the ones that have the icons on. So you guys enter in. Immediately, you're uh, hit with a very, very bad smell. It's almost kind of that mildewy mold smell. It's, it's not great. You walk in, seeing a dead plants around, broken furniture, and it's just mold and in the carpet. It looks disgusting. As you all enter in, you didn't notice it at hand, but someone immediately stands up. They brush themselves off, seeing how you've entered, and steps forward. Ah, uh, you must be the ones that were, uh, um, sitting here. Uh, I, I don't know why you guys would be coming this early. Uh, he holds a hand out towards you, uh, Fraser. Uh, Corey will shake his hand. Uh, Detective Williams. Hmm. Corey Fraser. I am a little confused why you guys have arrived so soon. I've only been here a couple hours myself, and uh, I figured you... I, I didn't make any sort of call to call and counter for us. Well, you know, it's nice to be out. He, like, blinks a few times. Anyways. Uh, Deep inhale of this gross smell. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is... right. Um. The person above me told me to tell you, uh, issued 62B. There's immediately, like, he has, like, this slight smile and this kind of, like, positive attitude to him. It just sours. And he's just slowly to a frown. Well, I see. Um, are you sure there's not any way that we can stop this, etc.? Like... <sighs> I don't think this this um, man is hostile, so I don't think there would be any. I don't know. Hey, Fraser, make me your will check. Will check. Yeah. You know who you're dealing with. <laughs> also, I will have to commend our artist because I I am in love with new William Art. You become extremely relaxed. Maybe it's just because you're like, you're finally outside of the prison walls. Maybe you're partially treating this like a vacation, but yeah, you're just, you're just kind of chill. That kind of, the typical angry face you have just kind of relaxes into like a slight frown. <laughs> <laughs> Are 
Are you sure there's nothing that we can we can do about this? Uh, well, it's not entirely up to me. <sighs> All right. It is hard to actively go against that without directly talking to either Adams or Smith, so. <sighs> He's just kind of like sighs, kicks his feet at the carpet for a moment and just, well, I suppose I will be off then. I wish you all luck. He steps forward. Kind of waiting for you to like shuffle out of the yeah and just kind of nods and I may spades by the way. Detective Williams. He just nods and looks on out. Ah, always nice to meet a new face. Dang it, I didn't say I was wild card. Forgot. Next time. Hmm. Well, that's done with and out of the way, so what's our next move? Settle in. Probably contact Here. Adams. Oh yeah, this is where we're staying. Oh no. The door creaks open above. The older lady with a foul look on her face. Wearing this very ugly, like, bright flower dress that you would imagine you would see in, like, the 70s. It is out of style now, <laughs> the year that we're in. And she just sits down and just glares at all of you. Doesn't say a word. Suppose I'll get that sorted then. Hello there. She just looks up at you. Yes, we'll be planning to stay for the next few days. Uh, should just be the four of us. I, I think I already booked a room, I think. Ah, good. So it should be under Fraser. She clicks it. Reservations for four. Yes, that should be the one. One room. All right. Jesus reaches under she doesn't even really click on anything on the computer she just reaches under this counter and then just slowly slides a key card across the table it's yeah it's the case where like the the nice uh smooth kind of surface of those key cards you know that they're laminated has started to peel it does it looks gross oh ah much obliged Mm-hmm. Down the hall. Take a right. Second door. All righty. Thank you very much. Second door. So... I will let you guys know, so for a basis here, a lot of the stuff is intentionally placed on the map. So if you see something that interests you as we go along or any session here on out, and you're like, I'm, I want to see what that is about, you can go over there and check it. Or you can, you know, roll insight, whatever you want to call for, just try to piece together little informations. Here in this room, it's pretty self-explanatory. It, it's, it's broken down. A broken down, you know motel uh but there's little aspects around that you feel free to point out or ask further questions if it you're not sure what it looks like on the map itself map making is hard <laughs> so i really hope those are just coffee stains ah oh, i guarantee you they're not just coffee stains i think it gives the place character <laughs> You still riding like Fraser. You're still riding off this like very <laughs> relaxed and chill vibe. You don't know what about it is today. It's just it's nice, you know. Mm, I wonder, <laughs> <laughs> sir. Are you okay? Oh, I'm feeling great. You, you don't seem as what's the word? 
Mean. Mean. <laughs> you, you think yes. I'm mean? Sometimes. So you yeah. just kind of glare at me. You just look through your your office window and just glare at me sometimes. There's no office There's window. No office you have window. no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe this place is already getting pissed, sir. I already forgot what room we're in. Oh, we just go on the corner to the right, and it should be the second door on the right. Yeah, Amelia, you step in like a dirt patch, and you're very confused. <laughs> this place uh, this is, is a little bit concerning, don't you think? This is worse than the barn back home. Yeah, it could be worse. So yeah, the, there is almost <laughs> no lighting in these hallways. Most of them have either gone out or they're flickering. So it's very kind of like dark, but you see kind of the light around the corner. And as you make your way up to the corner and around, you, you kind of see some of... Uh, the sunlight coming in from the windows. Uh, you guys have a rely, arrived about late evening, so it's around the time the sun is setting and it's just kind of giving this kind of orange glow across the uh, the city. Um, and as you move up, you, you kind of look out and there appears to be what used to be a pool out there. It's probably not safe to swim in, <laughs> but you, there's this kind of glass where you can look out. There's no sort of door here, but you can see a door at the end of the hall that probably leads to it. Darn. Brought my swim trunks and everything. Lad, I don't think you'd want to swim in this kind of pool, even if it was full of water. No, I agree. That does not look fun. <sighs> seems very the opposite of fun you know you're honestly surprised that considering the state of repair that these like large like glass windows across the side aren't broken at all it's just they're still there they're dirty for sure but like they're not broken and you just suspected they were as you, <laughs> you made your way down I don't so understand. Did command not get us a better hotel? No oh, title? they could have gotten us a better hotel. But remember, we're B team. Oh no, and I put B this comes place. right after A. I, I, I chose it. You chose this on purpose, sir. Uh, yeah. Fair enough. It's the cheapest option. There's like a slight smile come across Fraser's face. You've never seen this man smile before. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. Go back, <laughs> go, go back to frowning. It's more natural. <laughs> Is it this one up here? There should be a lower next one on the right. Come to think of it, that person that parked like a jackass, that was probably the detective. But Maybe. But why would it have something for a junkyard on it? Eh, who knows. Eh. Maybe he just likes junkyards. I'm not one to judge. This guy's enter it. Surprisingly, the card works. You're not sure if any of the other rooms have proper readers, but this one does. It's like the case where you have to try like five times to get it to work, where you're like, should we go back and get a new card? And then it finally, you finally get it. Let me pace you guys down in here. You all walk in. Immediately, there's one concern. There's several concerns in here. Primarily that there's only two beds. But you're kind of getting a sense that you probably wouldn't want to sleep on them anyways. 
Hmm. There's also what seems to be a couch. Maybe a sofa. Probably don't want to sleep on it either. Yeah, probably not. <sighs> ah. So who wants the chair? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll let my... I'll, I'll let y'all decide and see where my luck takes me. For hopefully it'll end up not inside this room most of the time. There's this horrendous, like, black stain across the carpet right here. It's... It's gigantic and concerning. <laughs> yeah, sleeping in the vehicle might be more comfortable. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep in the vehicle. Good lord, did I try and start a fire and end this building's misery? <laughs> I think you look at could for get arrested for that. Corey's... You look at it for a moment, you look at this black stain, you're like, oh, maybe, maybe let's take a scorch mark. And for a second, you blink and you think it's pulsating, and you're like, nah. <laughs> Is that black mold? I really hope that's not black mold. Might be. Let, let's just pretend it's not. Okay. That sounds good. Corey's immediately going to start checking for bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as you guys spend your time just kind of Getting yourself settled in, in quotes, I imagine you guys immediately strip the beds, do whatever you can so as to make this a some sort of living situation for those who do find themselves sleeping in this. Um, I imagine also you guys probably pack sheets because who knows where you're going to be sleeping. So it's just, you know, um, yeah. you, you make sure that you get settled in for a moment before you end up starting your investigation. So for all intents and purposes, this is your hub. Awful hub as it is, but it is a place for you to rest, more or less. So, if you have any injuries or anything like that, you can come back to here and basically spend time here, which, you know, everybody else that's still awake would probably still go out, etc. Um, to heal yourself, in case there's a moment where you just get annihilated in a fight or something. In addition to that, I will explain what exhaustion is. So, exhaustion is what it exhaust it's basically the definition if you guys at any point during your investigation you know uh don't sl sleep you stay up too late which ends up leaving you with a lack of an ability to time to rest you will suffer points of exhaustion um so as long as you come back here at night and rest or if it's the case where, like, sometimes that you might stay out later into the deep night because you're falling a point that might go cold otherwise. You can come back here during the morning and the day. You're just going to be, you might just be absent from a session, right? If you sleep through it. Um, or you can just suffer the exhaustion for the entire time. Um, when you when you stay up late, etc., past that time, you got to make some fortitude checks, etc., determine how much exhaustion you have you might be able to sustain without taking any points but that dc of course will increase over time and so just to give you a brief overview of what that does uh where is that in my notes everything on this page <laughs> exhaustion level one all skill checks are at disadvantage exhaustion level two defense rolls are at disadvantage three attack rolls are at disadvantage and at four you gotta keep making checks to stay awake, and at five years is considered unconscious, regardless of what you roll. Um, so, I doubt you guys will get to five, or even four, maybe, but you'll probably, you know, it, there's a potential of you getting to, like, one through three, depending. Um, so keep that in mind when you come back here. So, is there any RP that you want to do in this room, or you just want me to move over to the next map? So, uh, do we want, like, room service, or, uh, are we just yeah. not gonna bother no, with thank that? You. you go over and you, like, grab the phone. It's, it's unplugged. I look for a plug. <laughs> There's no wire. There's nothing. There's, it, it's, it's, like, broken out of the backside. Like, all the wires were removed. Oh. All it's, right, it's there for show. I'm not sure you'd want the food that we get here anyway. Probably not. 
Speaking of which, checks the mini fridge. So you have you ever opened like a mini fridge that's like sat out in the sun for a while and hasn't been plugged in? And it's like a hot box. Yeah, you open it. This mini fridge probably hasn't worked in a while. It, it's kind of has like typical so it's, it's not like covered extensively in mold but it, there's a clear like you need to take a wipe and wipe this down sort of by it's just like general wear and tear where it was used and never there's almost a layer of dust as well this you doubt anyone has rented these rooms <laughs> or if they did didn't stay in them or you know ended up sleeping in their car like you guys probably will You don't even have a lamp. That looks like it exploded as you walk over there. <laughs> uh, Corey oh, no. seems like he's lived or like stayed in his fair share of terrible motels and hotels. He seems like he came prepared. Like he basically packed an entire bed. Just start stripping the bed. Yep. <laughs> For a b breeze. <laughs> Getting everything. Uh, if not too outlandish, it could be possible that I found some fishing line in the fridge for, you know, some reason. Oh. Oh, oh you that's at... nice. Um, I'll, I'll roll so it's a chance roll for you. Let's, let's see if you can find that in there. Boop. Yeah. You find some. It's you probably got a few feet of it just in there. You're you like looking. Maybe someone came up here to fish. You know, there's like a lake nearby, so it might be the case where someone just shoved it in there with their bait, etc., and left it there forever ago. I believe that's activating your good old memory. Yes, it is. Awesome. All right. So, as you guys get settled in, we'll go over to this map. Let me make sure everything's on here appropriately. Yeah. So, as an overview, when you're at a hub, this, this is more or less just to visualize where everybody can go. Everything that is of importance, I guess. To, uh, so these are the four points kind of mentioned by him before. And as you guys look through the, your file, et cetera, on the trip here, you kind of have these points of investigation to start. Um, you have the Golden Flower Bakery, which was one of the pings from Mask. You have Lucy's Gas Station, which was the other ping. Uh, Brookside Parkway is his last known residency. And you also have the police station to kind of get access to those missing person report reports, et cetera. Um, and because you're a part of Counterforce, you can actively go in and basically talk to the police station. You have some jurisdiction to request things from them. Um, so yeah, this is basically how this is. You guys, I, I will state, with, because you guys arrived late, the sun is setting, you have probably about one point that you can go and investigate for this session until you return and you know rest so you don't get any exhaustion. I will put this out here. You guys do not have to split into four groups. You will not be punished if you guys decided to stick to like two groups or maybe three and wait to investigate those other points the next day. I would not do that to you. That would be a little unfair. So you you, you can kind of select what points you have. And the easiest way to do this is I'll go ahead and drag out your characters. I'm in the GM layer. That's an issue. We'll grab this. We'll grab this. We'll grab you. And we'll grab you. And then you can... This is just a visual where you can just drag yourself and be like, let's go here, or I'm going here. So I kind of know how to... Who to grab and who to copy and paste over. Well, it's already late in the evening. I doubt we'd find anything at the bakery at this time anyway. So that one's probably best to wait. Yeah, it's, it's like roughly, the best way to des describe this is you have one vehicle, you'll most likely be walking to most of these places, so it, time will pass as you go. Um, but the the kind of overview of this is um, it's about 6 p.m., I would say. You'll arrive about 7 or 8, so if you did go to the bakery, you would arrive near closing time or like an hour before, depending. 
somewhere around that age where they're probably wrapping up stuff. So going there and that might be the best because there'd be less people maybe at the end. You're, you're really not sure. Um, but you can't go to the bakery. That's one option. But yeah, feel free to discuss. I'm hungry. It's late. Think, We're in a bad um, hotel. I want some good food. It'd probably be best to uh, go to his residence sooner rather than anything else. Uh, if you want to go that way, we could just split into two groups this time. One to procure supplies and ask the questions, and the other to uh, try and strike at the heart of the matter effectively. I mean, you can. You, you you can just be like, I'm going to go to the bakery and then take off, and then I don't think anyone would stop you. <laughs> yeah, like, if Ace Spades literally just does that, where he just announces that he's going to the bakery and starts walking off, uh, Dahi will probably just kind of motion for Amelia to follow him. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> well. And Dahi uh, will just go with... Uh, our good old captain to Brookside Parkway and we can investigate directly. I'm good with that. Alright, so we're we're getting two groups here. You two are going to Brookside Parkway, the other two are going to Golden Flower Bakery. Alright. Uh, are you guys going undercover or are you just going in loaded? I'm going in. Undercover. Um, <laughs> So I'll go ahead and... Mm, for the parkway one, do we want to be undercover or loaded? I mean, it or is his you... residency. <laughs> Corey will probably go undercover, but uh, keep his pistol like under his clothes. Okay. You could always say you park like the van on the street if you two take the, the car. Yeah, yeah we can do we're taking the car away spot, so your guns are in the car. All right. So, yeah, anything that you can conceal on you is pretty much what I would assume that you have. So, like, your revolver, you probably keep on you in your, you know, low form, but, like, you don't really carry anything large, do you there, Dahi? <laughs> nope, I have a revolver and a police baton, so, yeah, I, I, I am effectively just going to be undercover the entire time. I believe yeah. my rifle's the only thing I have to leave behind. I got knives. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put this on you. Yeah. Okay, so as I set this up, this might be a good place to call the first break. All right. So, short break. If you need to use the restroom, grab a drink, go ahead and do so as I quickly copy over what I need to to these locations. Okay, yeah. So now that we have a small break... Is this the part where I'm supposed to point out the uh, typo I saw in the opening sequence? Oh, is there a typo? He sods. Oh, my bad. That's fine. It fits with him. <laughs> yes, exactly. I honestly realized like an hour before session that we had, I was like, oh, yeah, I need to do those credits. So I quickly did them and shoved them in there. Yeah, I mean, that's literally the only typo I saw. So you're good. Also, ha, you totally win with Duke. Yeah, I wasn't going to do that to him. <laughs> I should have gone with Dukey. Dukey. <laughs> he would have never forgave me if I did that. Maybe. So I need to go over here and just quickly grab. There we go. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. It's a very different tone than I normally do as a GM. So mm. both I'm chaotic, enjoying. stupid, and then dark and depressing. <laughs> you know those like rhythm makers that go back and forth. I forgot what they're called. That's pretty much what we're doing with tone with this. So. Oh yeah, what what day is it? Like the sixteenth or? 
It is the 15th. So mass ping, so basically mass ping two of him entering into the uh, city like earlier in the day. Um, and then contacted the detective. He went and then you guys went shortly after. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, for anyone wondering, it is the June 15th, 2067. Um, I do, with a lot of, like, the document notes and stuff, put dates like that. But if you're, like, curious or, like, because it's, like, 2067 and trying to calculate distance between time, feel free to ask me, just to clarify. Some of them I did put, like, roughly three months ago in, like, parentheses, but some of them are not that. Do we have any reference to what this guy looks like, or are we just going off of a name and power set? Uh, you know, because Mass recorded him, and so, so there's clarification. You guys probably, let me, let me go back to the loading screen. I'll pull, I'll pull this, this man out for a moment. The blonde guy, right? Yeah, yeah I remember him, I'm just... Yeah, yeah you, you guys know, you, you'll immediately recognize him because he sticks out with the yellow hair and yellow eyes. Because there was recording mass picked up recording of him so you, you guys basically know what he looks like so if he appears you're like that's the target so if you guys go in there to get a muffin and you see him just go into town on a donut you'll have an awkward pause for a moment that would be hilarious and <laughs> maybe a little mental panic on both sides somehow I feel like Ace would be too focused on getting a donut Ace would grab a donut and then sit down and talk to the guy for, like, 20 minutes until he realizes that he's the one that he has to capture. Also, Probably. it worked out that the shock disruptor and the activator are with the same two people. That was the intention, yes. I didn't right. even think about that. Nice call. <laughs> it just hit me. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot that you guys would split up. So if you ran into him, that would just be it. Yeah, like, if we run into him investigating the home, uh, we'll deal, I guess, but, uh... I'm trying to figure out what we're supposed to do in that situation, because don't want to, like, break out into a fight in a bakery. <laughs> Try to lure him out, probably. Yeah. Contact the other two. Yeah, I was about to yeah. say, we can contact them, so... They do have the car, so I will take that into consideration if whatever reason you guys, uh... We do have a car. Nice. And use it as a battering ram. Don't worry, as so long as he can get up afterward, it's non-lethal. <laughs> he's... He's gifted. He'll, he'll be fine. Gift is, like, there's a slight thing, which is this mainly came from mechanics, but, like, most gifted people do have, they are much more resilient in terms of, like, recovery rates. So you could legitimately hit, there's a chance that you kill the man, for sure, but, like, he has a better likelihood of surviving if you hit him with a car. <laughs> oh, yeah, are we trying to get him in one piece, like, alive, specifically? Yeah, currently your objective is to find him and obtain him. Um, okay. So yeah, don't worry about that in terms of, hey, I'm going to shoot my sniper rifle. Like, if he goes, typically the way I handle it is when somebody loses all their injuries, they go into like a state of last moments where you, that's the moment when you guys decide if you take him out or not. So, so there's the less of a concern of, oh, I, I, I want to shoot him in the head. I want to shoot him with a gun. I don't want him to die, though. How do I get around this? That's typically how I get around it. Oh, that's good. I want to shoot him in the head, but I don't want him to die. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. It ricocheted off of his very hard, stubborn forehead. All right. For those who are here, just so I can keep track of who is here and who uh, and after break... Let's just put a plus in the chat. Ah, uh, thrash. Right, I think we're going to handle Dahi and Fraser first. I return, friends. 
Put a plus in the chat if you're back. Or else. There we go, everybody's back. We're gonna start with Dahi and uh Razor first, so let me. Yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. So as you guys kind of drive up, you kind of go over the interstate that kind of crosses through. Um, and uh, you go into kind of a back kind of suburb area. And you what you kind of immediately pick up is, yeah, it does have this kind of ghost town vibe as you're going down the street. And that, like over half the houses are for sale and or overgrown. And it's just no one's living there. And it's just no one's taking care of the property either. And. Most of them are slightly upkeep because they are for sale, but like you, you stroll up and you immediately see the the one that you're going for and you kind of like double take. You're like, is that the right street? As you see, a fence has been set up around the house and it is just absurdly overgrown. Just the entire fence is like breaking at parts why the shrubbery or whatever that was behind it, tree limbs, etc. are like pushing the fence out. You kind of, well, move in and um, park at one of the nearby for sale houses. No one's living there. It's, I'm sure it's fine. So this is where you guys, the residency is right there. So I'm going to. I'm uh, starting to think he doesn't live there right now. If he does, he certainly has a lot of cover. It'll make catching him if he is in there much more of a pain. And... Ah, we'll have to see. Who knows, maybe he's left something behind we can get a lead on. Here to do yeah. me a favor. Mm -hmm. Go to the back of the house, see if there's any back door, or if it's even fenced in. Hey, good idea. Alright, so, Dai, you kind of run around and make your way into the back, so I'll just... Boop. So, Fraser, are you just going to wait there for him, or are you... Uh... Corey's going to try to see if he can see anything of importance in the front of the house but yeah he's he's still waiting for him to come back so yeah you you kind of look in front of you and it's the one thing that's odd to you is a there's not really a gate per se it looks like this is whoever it was built a fence or maybe there was a gate and they took it down and put down and proper fencing but the actual road section of this looks where it's just it's fenced completely over like it's not made for people this is open up and get a car in um but you 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 kind of peer through and you you can see that the the road itself kind of goes down into a house that is similar to one of those on the street um but in disrepair there's you don't really notice anything uh well give me a perception check give me you know let's start rolling you know We're, we are playing a game after all mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, six. Yeah, it just looks kind of disrepaired. Like, th at least the yard, it's it's a little bit longer of a road, so it's kind of hard to make out anything. Um, down. So let me, let me see what I can do. That's the wrong. Let me go copy Dahi real quick. All right, so... That's where it is. So Dahi. So you make yourself around and you follow the fence line. You go all the way around and it's almost like a box surrounding the entire property. It's the more you go in, it gets kind of passed because there's not a suburb or another road on the other side. So it just kind of hits like this foresty area that's like just left there unkept um 
behind the building itself, but you kind of follow the fence and it kind of gets hard a little bit away of doing it. So it's because the shrubbery and everything around it has like kind of grown with the fence. But you're able to make your make your way around and kind of peer in from the fence on the other end. So yeah, you're you're all the way up here. You kind of are peering through the fence. Immediately, what you see is a back door that is kind of broken in, um, and it's just trash bags tossed there. You also see from this angle what I'll give you, which anybody with eyes would be able to see. This is this little area up here. It it appears where there is some like. It just looks caved in. It looks like these tree limbs are going into the house and part of the roof has caved in right there. Well, if he's living here, he certainly doesn't have a good roof. So go ahead and give me another perception check and... Yeah, I'll go ahead and explain it now. Um, so I'm I'm trying to do something a little different with how I handle an investigation. Typically, I just give you guys a map and let you go through it. But instead of having this campaign be where it's like ostensibly amounts of roles um, to figure out the basis of the room, instead I'm giving you the base. I'm giving a base level that anyone with eyes would be able to see. And then where the checks come in is when you ask me questions or you try to infer further into an area. For example, I'll, I'll take this 11 as a uh, to stay look towards it. So you, you kind of look at that hole where it's kind of caving in. There's a lot of areas where it's just like it looks like, I mean, these two trees are actively like growing into some windows, etc. Um, but it you didn't notice at first you're like maybe it's just they got old it's left here for a while and then you look and certain section of it looks to be scorched or was scorched at one time like something either like exploded or caught on fire in that area so that's an example of how i'll do investigation missions is you can ask further questions like oh you know it's caved in but you can basically like can i determine how it's caved in if that makes sense mm-hmm Well, right. the back's fairly innocuous, sir, but it does look like he's, well, someone's at least been here. The roof looks like it's been, well, a little caved in, but if there's scorch marks, whether that's from a fire or, say, an electrical discharge, uh, who knows. Any way in or out of the fence back there? Oh, good question. Oh, okay. Uh, you can either roll me investigation or perception. Uh, just kind of looking over the side to see if you can find an actual entrance. Okay, let me let me double check. Okay. Just beat the yeah. Okay, so yeah, you you look and at first you're like nah nah, and then you see you look where you're standing and you kind of take in it's just kind of filling your hands around for loose parts of the fence and you you hit to the point directly in front of you and you do it and it just kind of pops out where you can just roll it back almost like it was set up this way where part of the fence is not in so you can just put it to a side to walk in to this residency oh yeah there's a way of in back all right i'm coming around that way wait for me roger that so, yeah, uh, I'll put you here as you're standing right in the doorway, and we're going to go back to Fraser real quick. So, Fraser, as you're kind of standing there idly, you, you're looking, uh, you're gazing down, trying to make out what you can, but it's just too far away. You, you, you hear a voice next to you. You don't notice at first. Um, excuse, excuse me, sir. Corey turns. I, I don't see many people around here, but you, you happen to be one of the detectives? Yes. <laughs> I like to imagine that pause was in canon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Um, have you found any anything new? Well, I actually I do just... miss her dearly. She like walks slowly. She looks extremely. It looks like her hair is put back in a bun, but she hasn't showered in days. It's kind of has like this greasy s vibe to it. She just looks tired and. Yeah, actually, kind of looks something familiar. <laughs> Slight little bit of sorrow uh, in her eyes. Missing person. I'm guessing. She she nods. Yes, uh, I I didn't think there would be anyone else investigating. My I haven't seen my daughter for a few days. Weeks. I'm very sorry to hear that, miss. I just got into town. Just starting our investigation. I'm doing everything I can. She, like, blinks a few times. So, are you, are you not with the department? You know, that, that would make sense. Yeah, I'm not with the local department. I came in from out of town. They, um, they said there was nothing I can do. I was just assuming that you were something else. I didn't expect them to call someone in from out of town. Give me a deception roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, expecting that. God, my rolls have been second today. So let me pull up her sheet real quick. So, I will roll here, but her flaw triggers, which makes her re-roll. And then I will take that as a defense action on your end, protecting your identity. So, um, she she more or less, there, there's a little bit of, like, you just seem off. What is what is Frasier's, like, casual clothes look like? <laughs> just out of curiosity. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> is he like a khakis and a polo old man or is he more like just jeans and a random t-shirt he has <laughs> he'd probably be jeans and a random t-shirt <laughs> you don't you don't look like a detective at no, all not at all it's like some old band tee from when you were like in high school <laughs> that you're wearing no one's heard of it before <sighs> she like gives you a look and just shakes it. She seems almost desperate to a point of where we're, any inconsistencies she's pushing away in her mind. If you if you have any questions for me, I can. She she looks back to this house across the street, one that clearly has a police car in it. I, uh, I can, I can get you something to drink. Do you? Um, I have tea, coffee. You, I, I'm good. Thank you, though. Uh, I do have some questions, though. She, like, looks around on the street, like, would you like to come in, then? Uh. It's about to be dark, and I, <laughs> it'd be easier to talk in there. Do you want to roll insight? <laughs> I know there's this, like, since I imagine, like, your earpiece, Dahi is just like, Sir? You all right, <laughs> sir? <laughs> sir? Are you taking your time? Did you trip from your drunkenness? <laughs> um, second roll insight, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. If I you're, know. like, concerned... <laughs> about anything on a more deeper level. Oh, yeah, yeah, too. She seems genuine. Like, you, you look at her and you're just like, she looks like someone that is going through, like, a state of grief right now. Like, she she looks desperate for sure. Uh, uh yeah, sure. I'll, I'll come in. 
She, she just kind of nods along and just starts leading the way, kind of taking a few steps forward. If you want to say anything to Dahi, this would be the yeah. moment to do so. Hey, Dahi, uh, gonna be questioning a lady that just approached me on the street. She has a missing daughter. Uh, search the house. Contact me if you need me. Ah, I sir, you have some protection. <laughs> <laughs> As the grieving mother leads you to her house. That's so bad. <laughs> that was the intention, yes. Fraser like, in his oh, brain is like, I still got my pistol, duh. <laughs> it's more Dahi just being all like, oh, I'm just standing over here and I'm going to have to investigate this building by myself. Eh, I might as well poke fun at him. He's he's far away enough where he can't yell at you or shoot. <laughs> he should take a shot at you. You're fine. Safe. Until the next time I see him. Okay, so I think the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna go to you, uh, Dahi. We're gonna do the kind of the investigation of the house, etc., and then we'll pop back to the other two, and then we'll come back to Fraser with this, and then, yeah. So let me. Go ahead and go back to this. Boop. You kind of just peel it back and kind of place it back behind you. All right, let's do what's the situation around here. So yeah, lo looking in front of you, you could technically enter here. It, it would require you climbing over garbage and climbing through what appears to be kind of like a broken or shattered door. Um, that might have just like rotted and fell in on itself, it looks. You could technically try to get through the rubble, but it might be best looking for else. There's still the entire front of the building. Well, uh, Dahi will mostly kind of go around the building, taking a look, looking through the windows, cursory glance kind of thing, but looking for a better way inside. Okay, so yeah, um... So you look around, you kind of come down this way, kind of pass over the garbage, walk through, it's like up to your knees length of this certain portions of this grass and you kind of pop out right back here you look the garage door seems to be closed or etc for this house and then the do you kind of go over to the door um try the handle it is locked um other than that there is a few windows there there is one like right here in the corner there's there's many windows across the house you could try as well most of them, like, I'll give you a brief overview because I imagine you would check all your options. Um, mm -hmm. All the windows are locked. Some of them are shattered in, but there is the state of broken glass that you would have to climb through. Um, other than that, you have the back entrance, which you would have to climb through garbage and a shattered door. There's this, which is just the rubble of an encaved house you could climb over and potentially get in. Um, and there's a few windows that are also kind of either shadowed, shattered or locked. Front door is locked as well. Tell everyone to handle it. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go in through one of the shattered windows. Okay. How are you going about doing that? Hmm. Let's see. It, it's like the case where like it broke the win the window is shattered, but there's still shards sticking up the side of the glass frame where like if you try to climb through, you might cut yourself or nip yourself there. Uh, he'll he'll take his time at the moment and just kind of like take out the police baton that he has and kind of like knock some of the bigger shards off and down in a way so that it's marginally safer. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna fault you for a roll there. It's pretty simple to get through this like door and you 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 have gloves a part of your shoot that I imagine you put on. You just kind of quickly slide in and take your time. There's kind of a crunch of gl glass under your uh, under your feet. I'll pop you in. You are over here. 
yeah you immediately enter in this uh room it's almost hollow there's not a lot of furniture and what is seems to be in disrepair for sure um most of it looks around and uh let's do it this way i'm gonna just kind of pop dahi around and just give you a show of the building itself because you're gonna go through it anyways mm -hmm. so here in what would you assume the living room area it seems that most of the windows are shattered most of the there's not a lot of furniture what is is either partially broken or destroyed etc there's a few chairs that might still be good but nothing too valuable it it's very odd that there's almost no furniture it is abandoned so maybe by the time it was abandoned most was but like why would they leave a couch here why would they leave like this desk etc you enter into the kitchen you can see where partially the wall is destroyed between the kitchen and this bedroom. There is uh, the where the door was destroyed as well. You just kind of look around. There's an old microwave that looks to be in, like, scorched from the inside. Probably doesn't work. There's, there's no running water, and the stove does not work either. Gonna make your way down into the hallway. First, you open this door. And immediately you're hit with a spell that is awful. It is just rotting garbage that's been sitting for who knows how long in this room. Let me. There's piles of it. Oh, gosh, it's as bad as the motel. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Dahi would rather sleep here than that motel. <laughs> you walk up here to this this room. This is the one where you saw the the roof kind of collapsed in. The uh the wall itself is partially collapsed in and it does this is kind of taking your assumption there is kind of like this scorch mark s area. Whatever furniture is in here is just now it's just rubble. Um the entire, pretty much the wall to the north side is uh, broken in. Mm. You almost kind of get a sense that you see like some things moving through it, like rats, etc. This is home. Uh, animals have made their homes here. Go over to the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom seems... Yeah, it's... Most of it's in disrepair. There seems to be all sorts of like broken or shattered pieces of the... Uh, the actual tiles across it nothing too interesting there and finally you come down to here um you look into this building a tree seems to have shattered through the window at some point other than that you can see that there is a bed set up here with a mattress um a chest some drawers and it you you do notice i would imagine it's very obvious as you walk in it looks to be a picture frame that was uh kind of lays face down on the uh floor in front of you let's see what that's about yeah now i'm opening the investigation where you can basically drag yourself wherever you want to um and basically ask any questions you want and that's where roles will come um this is the case where this is a little bit of a freebie um, so you, you reach down and you kind of look around, but give me an investigation or a perception check either way, just to kind of gleam much from it. You'll still get the picture regardless. Okay. Um. So immediately what you, you notice as you pick it up is the entire frame is shattered. Um, and as you look, the picture itself appears to be, well, your target, standing with just a kind of some other girl it seems to be some sort of like high school game in the background that is uh happening he looks a little bit younger than he does in the the videos that you've seen must have been back when he was in school granted that wasn't that long ago he's still rather young let me double check Yeah, it, it looks almost like you. 
you can probably like piece together that's probably the local high school if he was raised here um but other than that there's not a lot it's just a picture of him and a girl that poor nine that year old yep poor nine well next is the treasure chest so you you open it up and it appears to have some kind of old clothing it kind of has that weird smell to it if you've ever had any uh like very old clothing that starts to like decay over time um it's there it's probably where someone used to keep their clothes for a while most of them are of a younger set uh give me kind of give me an insight i don't know yeah, Dahi, you're not yeah, around children very often, but you're like, this could be, these are kids' clothes, but you have kind of no idea how how old. <laughs> you kind of go through the drawers as well. There's really nothing in there. Mm -hmm. And the bed doesn't look like it's been recently used, right? Uh, give me a perception. Insight. You know, the gist. I don't think investigation would be here. There is kind of a, this era of like dust and just, you know, dirt, et cetera, that drags. It seems like this was brushed off recently. As in someone probably did like cleaned it off. Maybe someone used it or at least maybe an animal, something brushed the it's it's been used recently. You don't know what did it, though. Hmm. Interesting. So do you have any other questions about this building in particular as you go through it? Uh, let's see. Well, I could rifle through the sofa and see if anything fell between the cracks. That's important. Yeah, go ahead. No, oh, definitely not. You kind of reach your hand down there and you, you, you feel like, like the sensation of something's about to like bite you or nibble on your hand. You feel like this weird thing and you like pull it up. You're like, nope, nope, I'm good. <laughs> and as you do that, you're with your hand in the couch. You, you kind of see someone climb into the window in front of you. It's the detective from before. He slowly climbs in and he sees you with your hand in the couch as you pull it out and he, he didn't notice you at first and he just like puts his hands up. <laughs> well now, what are you happen to be doing here? Most likely the same thing as you. I just fair enough. Kind of lowers his hands. <sighs> Sorry, I... I don't know. I don't think the kid's hostile. I don't think you guys should be here, but I shouldn't have came. Oh. I, I, it's no problem. We're just doing our job same as you're trying to do yours. Frankly, I wouldn't want this to end up in a fight if we can help it, especially not against a gifted. Well, that's the purpose of me being here. I'm supposed to see if a fight is needed when you guys Came along anyways. Yeah. He just kind of shakes his head. Any... Anything you found in here? No, most of this stuff has been... Well, vacant a long time. Uh, don't go into that room on the right over there. It's just nothing but a garbage heap. Although, it does seem to look like that either an animal or something else may have been here recently. The bed does seem to have some dust that's been removed and cleaned off of it. Mm. Other than that, though, not a whole lot of interest to hear. If he was using it as a base, he probably isn't anymore. All right. You mind if I take a look, then? 
Oh, go right ahead. You're probably more well suited to looking around than I am. Yeah, he, he just kind of takes an overview of everything, and then no, it's see, it's to see how uh, well he does. I feel bad for you, Dahi. I feel like, you know, having some sort of an assistant role for you would have been better. Um, he... I overall rolled better than you. Quite. So he, he kind of peeks in. He goes to this door that you said not to open, and he's just... He doesn't. <laughs> He thinks about it for a moment. He's like, should I double check? And he he, he doesn't. He, he just kind of searches through the rooms. And uh, Do you follow along with him or do you just kind of wait where you are? Yeah, sure. I keep an eye on him. Okay. So I will drag you. So as you enter in here, kind of pop into this, uh, this room and he, he kind of looks around and he sees the bed. <sighs> he looks over to where you laid the sh uh, shattered frame down and he goes over and like picks it up kind of just like looks around in the room itself walks over here kind of runs his finger across the top of this dresser this desk in front of him mm. that's interesting oh something interesting in the room is there yeah, you like, I mean, I might be wrong about this, but see the absence of dirt and just dust generally right here in this area. And there's there's a clear like something was moved. It's small, but it's there. And he like holds up the frame and just kind of lays it in place. Someone recently took this and by the looks of it, it looks like they threw it against the wall. Interesting. So either it was someone else, or he doesn't like remembering his high school days. Question is, who is this? He, he like looks it out, and I apologize. I didn't give like really much of a description of the picture uh, going into it. He does look much younger. He is there with a girl that has like this kind of bright red hair to her, and just kind of a very happy smile across her face. And he actually looks genuinely happy in the picture as well. Um, it just looks like they were hanging out and someone snapped a picture of them at, like, some sort of, like, ball game. Um, and he... <sighs> he looks at it and he's like, I wonder if... Hmm. Wonder if what? I don't know, I'm not too... He might not want to remember... Maybe it has to do with this girl in the picture. It could just be high school in general, but I do know that the uh, high school shut down. The last senior class was his, so. That was part of the file, some secondary school that was here. Yeah. But, so that might be a good place to look. I doubt they really did much. It was abruptly shut down after all. Kind of rubs his chin for a moment. Might be able to figure out who that girl is. Yeah, it's as solid a lead as any that we have right now. Kind of like takes the picture out of the frame and then hands it to you. Might be good to ask some of the folks around town, possibly as well, if any of them remember. He nods. He like he rolls up his sleeve of his suit and just kind of like looks down at a watch. Sigh, sighs heavily and just I should be I should be going. As much as I want to help here, it's the issue has already been called. My job's kind of at jeopardy if I remain any longer here. Hey, hey, that that it might be. No worries though. I didn't see nothing. He kind of nods to you. Good luck, I guess. <laughs> you both kind of make your way out. Yeah, hopefully we won't be needing it, but... Alright, I want... Uh, so go ahead and give me a base persuasion roll. You're not necessarily 
convincing of anything, but a lot of times I use this as a way to kind of give a feel of how a, another character feels about you. Um, if I can't just do side. So that's all right. That was a three. All right, all right. Yeah, he just continues walking with you, kind of makes his way back out and instead of climbing back through the window he just kind of like comes down here unlocks the door and just kind of he kind of gets stuck as he tries to open it from where it's been shut for so long and he just kind of yanks on it a little bit and just pries open <sighs> just kind of steps out is there any other investigation you want to do here or do you want to like walk down with him more or less I walk down with him doesn't look like there's a whole lot else I can potentially find especially with how my rolls treating me right now yeah <laughs> unfortunate all right so i'll go ahead and make sure place you guys over here and then we'll go both uh thrash and rachel are you here yes yes awesome i want to Food. I will go to bakery to get food. <laughs> One motivation. <laughs> I'm gonna accept for the whole team. Just don't worry about it. That is an option. I assume all of you have... You all get paychecks like you have your own money. It's just up to you if you're... I guess if he spends it all on stuff. I, I like to. I feel like I don't even know what he would buy. To be honest, I feel like he just puts it all away and then doesn't buy anything. <laughs> he just randomly wins arcade machines. All right, so let me. We're gonna go over to. Let me switch up the music from that. So you guys make your way over to the Golden Flower Bakery and let me drag you make sure I have the right map. Yeah. So it's kind of cutting in around following the sidewalks using whatever device you have. You 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 follow the address right outside the Golden Flower Bakery. So outside here, you guys kind of come out of this alleyway and you see a large sign uh, that says Golden Flower Bakery. Outside it, there appears to be some sort of, like, bike moped. There's a little section behind it that seems to, like... It almost looks like a, someone was using it to deliver pizza is the best way to describe it. You can't really make out what the company is called or anything from this distance, but... Huh, there it is. Yep. Oh, what a lovely little area this is, honestly. Yeah, it's a lot nicer than the hotel. Definitely. I have no idea why he chose that hotel. There's no telling. I mean, he must get paid more than us. Maybe he saves his money for booze? Yeah, that's probably it. I'm assuming we check before we cross the street. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it, like I said before, it, it's the case where, like, every now and then, obviously, I'm not going to visually show it. Every now and then, a car does go by. It's kind of slow and it's just, etc. But there's not a lot of vehicles being used, even though, like, the city is built up. Um, so th there is almost like a ghost town. And, like, some of the buildings that you're passing are either, like, for sale or kind of boarded up. We should probably make a note still to ask about his name francis mm -hmm. his name is francis and his code name is battery which is still awesome yeah probably best not to mention the code name here probably not yet if you heard so, of a man named battery no <laughs> and his last name is rooks by the way i remember that because i wrote it on my hand all right you guys entering in yes yep okay So let me let me switch the music around a little bit. No. Um, I 
that's just what we were on good job me <laughs> yeah you enter in as you enter in you see someone in front of you kind of hat down low almost kind of wearing an outfit a outfit that you, you see on the back in bold text says Johnny's Pizza. His hat's down low. He almost looks like he's del a delivery man. He he seems to have been finishing a transaction. Uh, Starts making his way this way and doesn't notice you at first and kind of like bumps into you. Dude, come on. Sorry, man. Kind of stumbles out. Huh. Must have been the one driving the delivery bike outside hmm, that would probably make sense you take a step forward wild card there's a flyer it seems like it, it seems like it fell out of his pocket Ooh, strange piece of paper you pick it up you look at it and johnny's pizza there's coupons Buy one pizza, get two pizzas free, and you're like, how do they make money off of that? But look, it's there. <laughs> look, pizza. You can get pizza while we're here, while we're out and about at some point. Score. I suppose you can hang on to it. Who knows? You might be able to order it for delivery. Ooh, good idea, disembodied voice. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> don't give don't give wild card the ability to associate with my narration <laughs> um let me hold on i gotta i do gotta look at something his yes it says the other thing that strikes you a little straight i mean maybe not you but the times that it's open are from 7 p.m to 3 a.m it's a weird oh. time to be open <laughs> Oh, um, this, this woman in front of you. Welcome. Hello. How may I help you? S slightly smiles. Uh, coming in to grab a snack. Yeah. Oh, is it, uh, we have various uh, things on sale for anyone to come in and grab. Did you have a pickup order? No. We just came into town. Uh, oh, I see. Um, well, then let me uh, run you through it. And she kind of goes through it all, and like she has some stuff that are actively there. There's donuts that you can buy. You can actively get like loaves of bread, etc., that are like sweet that she has made. And uh, there's also like little personal pies that you can buy that she just has on stock. The rest of it, and you kind of see like a menu in the back. The rest of it kind of seems like you could order. Like if you wanted a cake, you could order one and it, she would start baking, etc. Um, but, excuse me, there is a mechanic to this. <gasps> Yay! I'm happy someone was like, I'm going to buy baked goods. Because a part of me was like, I have a feeling that no one will buy, actively buy, like, baked goods. Um, presumed wrong. So, yeah, you you can buy, and I'm going to I'm gonna put this all in the player section, or for everyone to view. Energized loaf. Yeah. Oops. So yeah, you can buy various of things, and there there's a slight mechanic to it. There is what is basically digestion buffs in this. You can eat it, and then you basically have that effect on you where you can activate it based on whatever the digestion action is to activate that effect on you, and you have it for whatever the duration is on it. So you can eat it and basically hold that effect until you take like a long rest, etc., where it would go away. Um, so you guys sitting down and eating some donuts will actually give you a little thing you can activate later, potentially. Um, you can also take these and keep it on you. It does take a little bit to eat, so, like, you could basically just be like, I'm ordering a dozen donuts, have these dozen donuts, and you guys can sit down and eat donuts and have that bonus for later. Obviously, you cannot buy out her stock. I don't think any of you guys with your career paths have enough money to just be like, I want a hundred donuts. <laughs> hey, I don't know how much money Dahi makes gambling. 
That is true. <laughs> but Dahi yeah, isn't I'm, here. <laughs> I'm laughing at the description, like the description right under the name <laughs> of all three of them. I love them. <laughs> the descriptions. Yeah. I think the personal pie description is my favorite. A very personal pie, sometimes too personal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was good. So, yeah. Uh, does she goes over it all and she like looks at you? Uh, is any of that sound good? If you have anything to order, it is late, but depending on what it is, I I don't mind cooking it for you or baking it. Excuse me. Hmm. What do you think? Well, we should probably at least grab a couple of extra things to bring back to the other two. Agreed. We haven't had dinner yet. So oh, apparently. Just gonna be a bunch of sweets. <laughs> she like hears that, and there's a part of her that like that's that's not very healthy. I'm I have some stuff in the back. I could make you guys sandwiches if you would like some. Free of oh, charge. That would be lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, well, that's sweet. She smiles. There's like this very like low tone like motherly vibe to her, where she's like deeply concerned <laughs> that you guys haven't eaten anything. <laughs> And the two younger characters are here to <laughs> talk like that. <laughs> uh, so you, 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 you... Okay. Um, we'll, we'll determine that here in a little bit. But uh, she'll go off and make some of that stuff. So she kind of goes off into the back. It, she, you doubt, like, you, you, she just kind of disappears for a while. So you're kind of left alone with the shop as she, she runs up. There's a part of you that's like, that's a little too trusting, but it's fine. Um, you kind of look around and you immediately, as you're like getting out whatever f fundings, etc., that you, uh, your wallets uh, to pay for the jury, you do see a little, little plaque in front of the register that reads, uh, in chalk donations for the St. Asaph's Church Relief Program. In addition, there's another sign that says points to this this grouping of bouquet or bouquets here. There's several different flowers that are put together that say that a dollar for a bouquet. It seems like they're selling. She's also selling flowers. Hmm. That's nice. He goes over to the donation section, and puts in five dollars. Whatever the equivalent of that to UK money. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Pounds, yes. <laughs> I put the five US dollars. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Where I did you get that? Street. I don't know. Found it on the street. The Americans are strange. They, they don't use the metric system. Yes, it's a little odd. They think they're so cool being all unique and stuff, not using the metric system, using Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. That's a, oh, hey! <laughs> yeah, she walks back out, so just kind of smiling slightly, and she has two plates with her, both with, like, sandwiches made, and just kind of, like, goes and lays it down at one of these places for you guys to sit. She'll go with this one. This one's actually clean and don't have dirty dishes on it. <laughs> just kind of places it and says, Enjoy! If you know what you want to order, I can pack it up to go, or you can eat it here, whatever. Uh, sure. Um, what all do you want to order, Ace? Hmm. I'll just have an energized loaf. What should we get for our two other compatriots, do you think? Uh, a couple of donuts? That could be good. I'll take one, too. Hmm? That's not too much. Yeah, no problem. I'm I'm sure I, I, I baked some stuff this morning, so they're... They've been here all day, but... If that's all right with you, mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be fine. She just yeah. starts re like reaching in and um, just packing it up, uh, and she'll be doing that while you guys kind of go over and eat your sandwiches. So she, yeah, go ahead and place yourself anywhere over there. Sandwich. <laughs> Just nom 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 <laughs> Minecraft eating sound. Let's see how well my gal made 
these are the best sandwiches that you've ever had in your life. <laughs> this is you so good. You don't know if it's because maybe you haven't eaten today and like you're just in that state of hunger where everything is delicious, but that's the best sandwich that you've had in your life. <laughs> he spade starts to tear up. It, it's okay, Ace. It's so good. It reminds you of the farm back long ago. <laughs> it reminds me of home. <laughs> it's like that scene in Reddit where <laughs> I'm thinking that <laughs> it unlocks a part of your brain. Once lost, now unlocked. <laughs> she like comes back, sees you crying. Oh dear, what's wrong? It's He's so just good. so overwhelmed. <laughs> I, I hope you're enjoying the sandwiches. It's good. <laughs> yes, very much. Thank you. <laughs> she lays down like both the uh, the boxes, etc., and just kind of lays down the uh, just the check, so you guys know how much to bring up to the register when you're done. And unless you guys stop her, she'll make her way back to the counter. Yeah, I actually kind of want to ask her about uh, if she has seen uh, Francis. Francis. Yeah, you, you, you kind of, like, call, stop her. You're like, ma'am, for a moment. She turns around. Yes? Uh, have you seen a guy with uh, with yellow hair and yellowish eyes? We've been looking for him. Hmm. She, to the thinks for a moment. Oh, yeah, see, um, there is someone that fit that description that came by this morning. Oh, Do you uh, know him? He, like, she looks curious. Yes, uh, we're just visiting from out of town, and we haven't been- we've tried contacting him, but we haven't heard from him in a while. Hmm. We're she, just trying to figure out maybe where he's gone. She thinks for a moment. Well, um, I- I don't have much to give you, uh, but, um, I don't know him personally, per se. I- I think he, he's been around, he grew up here, I think, but he's just one of the kids that never was around the circles of my, my kid, so. Um, I got you, I was just curious if you ever he, heard anything. Well, he, he came in here, he, he bought a bouquet of flowers, and then he didn't stay very long, and then he left. Okay, um, well, thank you. She kind of, like, nods to that and just, well, and thank you for your business. Smiles and just comes. Kind of comes back to the counter. What a nice woman. <laughs> yep. And she makes very good sandwiches. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> she hears, overhears that, and there's, like, a moment where, like, her cheeks are red, and she, like, smiles happily, like, yes! <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> sandwich you, success. You even like the sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of enjoy your meal. Um, if you want, you can look into the, the actual video of him entering here. If you want a little bit more context of like, maybe you can pin where he might have went afterwards. But like, this was earlier in the morning. Um, yeah. I don't know if, just to make sure. Yeah, I was just making sure I didn't have, like, exact times written down in your file. I didn't want to get lower incorrect. But, yeah, it, it was earlier in the the day. Um, you kind of open it up on your devices. Your communicator kind of is a multi-purpose device where you kind of, like, basically open up mask. And to your surprise, through your communicator in your ear, you just hear, Yes, I am mask. Is there anything that you need? In a very robotic voice. I'm not sure we need to look at it while we're here in earshot, though. So, all the audio, there's no audio with it. It would just be like you were watching a video on, like, your phone is the equivalent. Okay. So, you could wait until you, like, go outside a little bit after you're done eating if you wanted to. And if it makes it any more convenient, she would probably, like, 
after standing there for a while, just kind of make herself busy because it is getting to closing hours. So you see her kind of like go back off into the back for a while. You guys are left alone, so you can actively watch it okay. without concern. Sure, I can watch it while he yeah. enjoys sandwiches. Okay, so let me. Ace will like scoot the chair over to watch as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not even pull it up on your own. Just, like, scooch yeah. as close as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you basically tell Mask what he wants and says, One second, please. And then the video, it just pulls up the recording. Uh, let me... Let me get this. Boop. That's not what I want. So you look into this. Let me outside. Annihilate your characters out here. You're not in this recording. So cutting back to the outside, you you see this uh, see this kind of young man is kind of like walking, kind of haphazardly. He, he walks down the street, and the the camera on the corners of these buildings, and the one down here, kind of pick him up as he ends. So you see him from a distance, and he just walks up, hands in his pockets, just almost looks like he's humming a tune. He enters in outside of the the framing of the camera that you see. And he a couple minutes later, he pops back out. He kind of looks around almost cautiously. <sighs> Stands there for a moment, starts stepping curves around this corner and just disappears from view of the camera. Very brief, but it's the best that this, uh, that mask can do. Small city has less security cameras that it has access to. Hmm. Not a lot to go off of. So you did as you were walking and approaching like that direction. I forgot to explain it before, but like the uh, the left side of the map, it does look like the road just cuts off into a dirt road. But he could have been continuously walking down the street as well. He could really have gone anywhere. Wouldn't hurt to check later on. Maybe if we have, I don't know if we'll have enough time in the same day. I'll we'll have to Charlie check it out tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and say, can I save some of the sandwiches so that the other two can have something more substantial? <laughs> oh, I feel like Wildcard devoured his. <laughs> yeah, he realizes. He like looks down and says crumbs as you you look over to see her like wrapping up the remaining of her sandwich. I didn't even realize it was so good. I meant to save one. I just couldn't. It's too overwhelming. What have I done? Anyway, I'll go pay. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs the, uh, the tea and the money and heads up to the front desk. Oh, are you guys all done? Yep. Oh, oh all right. So yeah, you you exchange goods and services. <laughs> I leave a very good tip. Thank you. He nods. You it actively like you you hand her like a tip separate from like the processing, and she she says thank you very much, and she like looks at it for a moment, and then she just puts it in the donation bin in front of you. He smiles. <laughs> <clears throat> well, is there anything else that you need? Not for me that I believe so. Do you need anything? No, ma'am. I think we're good. Um, 
might come visit again in the next couple of days. Oh, feel free to. Uh, I'm open throughout most of the day, so. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. She, she nods and you guys proceed to head on out. As you leave, you see that the moped is gone. Confirming that that's probably was the guy. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else you want to do outside, or should you guys good with me cutting back to Frazier? You want to take another look down, like the way he maybe went? Yeah, you guys can like look around and investigate the area, so you can figure out anything. Sure, mm -hmm. sounds good. Yeah. All right. So let me. You're back up here. Step on out to the street. I believe, based off of this tree plant thing, there was a bit over this way. So yeah, you, looking up, there is a security camera <laughs> on the corner of this building. She probably has a few around the street as well, considering she has like these flower bins, etc., in case something like that happens. But it, it, it cuts off right on this corner. So pretty much anything just to give you an overview of where what's out of the camera's range is like from here. Mm -hmm. Anything past that point to the left is out of the camera's range. Right. It might so it's so he could have gone anywhere from this point. Yeah, he could have he could have continued on going down. He could have it did kind of look like he went that way, but he could have crossed the street and gone like he, yeah. It might be a good idea to check for footprints in the dirt. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Ooh. That's smart. I'll give it to you. All right, I will say that's probably... Let's go with investigation. So, ways just to go over this, way assisting rolls go, is one of you can assist the other, and you can do one or two things. You can give them half... Um... Actually, never mind. You, you basically you both roll. One of them is the leader. The other one that's not the leader rolls with uh, half of what they roll is added to your substantial total. So, I'll say you should probably roll. My my investigation is not good. <laughs> sure. Okay. So Amelia is the lead. You're supporting. So yeah, go just... ahead and. So just click the button, should roll for you, and same thing with you. Uh, well, then I'll do the math real quick. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't great. Oh. So half eight. Well, he actually rolled better. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> I am a minus one. God, you're just you're thinking about those donuts, man. They smell delightful. <laughs> Yeah, it so like just an overview of this. This kind of a lot of the town itself, kind of certain roads, just kind of like cut off. It's very small town where some of it just cuts off, and there's just like kind of ungrown forest in the, the kind of surrounding this place. Um, and this is like one of those points where the the road kind of comes up to this point, and then it just kind of hits and it enters a dirt road through kind of a very thick wo woods. The trees just kind of align the road as it goes along. As you kind of look over there, yeah. You, you don't really go deep into it, I would say. I, I imagine you guys are just kind of poking your head in there. Um, and you take a few steps into the dirt road. You you don't really see any any uh, footprint. A lot of it is kind of like this dried out dirt, if you know what I mean, where it doesn't like squish when you step on it. It's kind of just hardened um, bits of clay, etc. with it. It's just, um, you don't really see anything sort of footprints. It just kind of goes on for quite a while where it's just, the trees blocking out the the setting sun. It's it's hard to see anything at a distance. Can we see like anything down the road? No, it, it seems to go too far out of the way into the forest with just the way the light is currently. Um, to actively see like a building, there's nothing like that in there. It just kind of keeps going for a while. Kind of curves okay. to a point of where it's just all you see is the woods, so you're not quite sure. 
where this leads. Might be better in the day to go. Because it is at the point now that the sun is setting as you guys are coming out of the bakery. Yeah, which is what we were initially thinking is to come back during daylight. Yeah. Probably Put a pin in it. Come back. Yeah. Yeah. What I find funny is I don't think it would have been any better if you, if a sled <laughs> and then you. Yeah, that was what I was thinking too. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Minus one in intelligence. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll roll better next time, but I guess um, I'm assuming we can take an alternate route to get back. Maybe we can go down the southern path just to look around. Yeah, sure. Um, it is. It's nothing. You know, I'll get. I'll, I'll get back to you there. I, I might have something to throw your way. Um, but we're gonna go back to Fraser. Mm -hmm. Okay. You hear luck? Yes. You hear? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna cut back over this way. Just a question. Did we go into the house with the police car in front of it? Yes, you did. So, what's the deal with the police car? Oh, um, I'm sorry. It might have seemed odd that I was talking that they closed their investigation and there's a police car. My, this, this is my, um, older brother's house. He's, he's one of the He's more or less just a beat cop, but he he works for the police station here. I see. I don't know how much longer, however. Why is that? That's not what I want. Um, most of the since the well the high school shut down etc there's a lot of people moving i've only been here for well less than a year i i moved here with my daughter to get away from my uh ex-husband she kind of like shifts her eyes for a moment like not really wanting to talk about that but without the context it's kind of hard and she's just so i moved here with him but a lot of the people in the police station are getting transferred out of the city because there's not as much of a need for them here. And I don't know, he took, he took pearls missing quite hard. So I don't know how much longer he'll, he'll be working there. He'd like, she says this as she's walking up to like the counter. Are you are you sure you don't want anything to drink? Uh no, I'm good, but thank you. She slowly walks over and just kind of like sits herself. Kind of gestures you to sit down. So, um I don't know exactly where to start. I she says like releases like a sigh, kind of releasing a little bit of a tenseness to her shoulder. That's not what I want. She just kind of looks at you, seeing, like, you, you said you had questions for her, so there's a part of her that's, like, waiting to see if you would yeah. say anything. Well, first of all, what's your name? Oh, uh, right, I, I apologize. Uh, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Warren. Oh. Nice There's like a moment where she like paused on her last name where she 
did say ex-husband like there there's a part of her that almost introduced herself as someone else and then says nope correction <laughs> well it's nice to meet you jennifer you can call me cory yeah um nice to meet you cory so when was the last time you saw your daughter She thinks for a moment, just straight to it then. It's been a couple of weeks at this point. Two. It was it was June first when she went missing. She there's a small at the elementary school there's there's a small building that's been been kind of like a summer school almost for some of the younger kids here as for the ones that can't really travel out of the the town to get education so she's she's been going there during the day or was I I have um We had a uh, nanny that used to take her there in the mornings and come back, but she she didn't return. Both the nanny and my my daughter has been missing. She's she's only eight. I just want her to come home. And. Again, I'm, I'm very sorry this happened to you. She, she just kind of like slightly nods, not really. Just ex kind of accepting it. And you get that like she does not cry. It's probably the case that she has cried too much. <laughs> and her name was Pearl. Yes. Uh, is there the pearl of my sea <sighs> yes Jesus looks at you like is there anything that the local police has told you anything they figured out about it nothing I, I reported it to them they they just said there was nothing that they could do. I. They, I don't know what sort of investigation that they did do. My, my brother. He's, not very high. Like I, he. He said that they weren't really doing much. He seemed frustrated, but he wouldn't tell me anything, so I think he's been trying to do it on his own. I haven't seen him in a couple days. What's your brother's name? <sighs> that to me. She... Sighs... Uh... Just, I'm sorry, um, Paul, I can, I guess, give you his number if you, if you would like, I don't, I appreciate that. She, she like stands up for a moment, goes over to this little centerpiece and kind of reaches underneath, grabs a small notebook, quickly finds a pen and comes back and just like sits down writes it down and rips it out from the notebook and hands it over to you thank you um 
is is there anyone that you would suspect of doing this? My my ex husband, but uh, he doesn't know that I live out here. Last time I knew, he was in London. But I... He doesn't have custody, and I, I... I haven't announced it anywhere that we moved here. He didn't... He knew I had a brother, but he didn't know where my brother lived. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know. There's no one else. No? We haven't been here long, I... She, like, taps her fingers on the table, so it's kind of trying to think. I... I don't... Maybe it's... I know there's been other people showing up missing. Maybe it's just a part of that. Random targets. I, I don't know. I just want her to be brought back here. I understand. The house across the street, the one I was standing in front of, have you seen anyone go in and out of it recently? Hmm. That is a very good question. No, it's it's been a it's been abandoned since um since I moved here. I Paul said it's there used to be someone living in it when he was here much earlier, but nothing uh since they moved, I guess. I I, I don't know. He he would know more about that house than I would. Where is the elementary school that your daughter went to? Uh, more closer to the center of the town. It's in walking distance from here. I I, I know the path our nanny used to take. I can, I can write it down real quick. If you would, please. She, she right, starts writing down in the notebook. Um, she seems to know it, like, just freehand and starts writing. You get the sense that she probably is protective of her daughter, so she's like, in case I need to find you, you know, tell me the route that you take. And she gives it over to you. It's fairly just walking through the sidewalks down more closer to the center of town. I I don't know what else I can say to give to you. I she starts rubbing her eyes. If there's anything else you think I need to know, you tell me. Um I I think I've told you everything I can. Um could I do an inside check to see if she's holding anything back? Go ahead. Okay, let me... You can't... Something's a little odd, per se, but, like, it's hard to tell because she's, like, a grieving woman. She, she She's in denial, but also, like, the, there's there's a still a glimmer of hope in her eyes that, like, her daughter's out there. Um, and so you hear and actively asking her question is giving her more of a hope, but there, 
there doesn't necessarily seem like ah she's keeping information away from her it could honestly be the case that she might have forgotten something like it's she seems to be having trouble placing her thoughts well i won't keep you any longer uh cory writes down his number on a piece of paper and hands it to her if there's anything else that you end up remembering just call me. Uh, I, I will. I'm going to look into things as soon as possible. I'll get back to you if I find anything. She slowly signs up. Thank you, Fraser. Or Corey. Yeah, I don't think you gave her her last name. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. I, I really appreciate it. Of course. She leads you out. Anything else you want to say to her, she will close the door behind you. Nope. Okay, let me... Let me set up the next thing of you coming out. So, let me go back to the street here. Gar, you step on out. You're kind of thinking about this, trying to process, you know, this. <sighs> All the information that was given to you. You have some few points of where you can start looking into the disappearance of one Pearl Warren. You take out and you look up and you see two people coming out of the brush. One that you that's supposed to be gone right now and the other one, which is your teammate. He immediately goes, ah, sh mm. damn. You may want to start running. His aim really falls off uh, at longer distances. He's going to shoot me? <laughs> he, like, <laughs> looks completely surprised, taking you literally. Well, oh. that's his first reaction, usually. Uh, too late. <laughs> uh, Detective Williams. Hi. Um, sir? <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> What you doing here? Um, uh, I'm scratches the back of his head. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I went to investigate this house. I'm sorry. I was on my way leaving right now, actually. Good. Slightly goes past you. If I see you again. I'll have to force you to leave. Uh, duly noted. <laughs> Dahi, like, you look at him, but behind him you see this man slow pace, slow pace, faster pace, faster pace, almost sprinting down the street. I'll find anything interesting on your end. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Do we have any idea if the missing persons cases are connected at all to battery no okay. it is the case Goodbye. where basically they found this string of missing uh person cases and were like hey uh you know agent adams were like hey look into this and see if it's connected if right. you think it is or if the, the any point where you're like i don't think this is connected at all that's up to you to determine if you're like i'm gonna drop that that investigating into that and going into your mission because that's technically not your mission if it's not connected that is a character decision more or less 
Well, I learned that the his house has been abandoned for quite a long time now. And, uh... Hey. Still don't know if the missing persons are connected at all to him, but I did find some clues, I guess. And some hey. leads in terms of one case. We could look into them. Um, the house was mostly empty here on my end. Uh, there was some sign that someone had been there. Angrily threw a picture frame around. He fishes out, of course, the picture and shows it. Looks like our uh, target might have been here. Or someone that knew at least the other one in this picture. Might be a lead worth following up on to try and find out who the other one is. Could be useful. Apparently they both went to the same school as well, which shut down last year. But there might be files on hand there to look through and possibly get some information from, so that's another avenue. Dahi has absolutely no qualms with this, as Detective <laughs> Williams was not supposed to be here, as it were. It is, that is valid. Well, I guess we should head back. Think over some things. Hey, hopefully the other two found something and didn't just end up stuffing their crawl. I do have sort of a hypothetical for you not at all oh. hypothetical it's a real situation but i'm just gonna pose it to you say you're a beat cop and your niece goes missing mm -hmm. and you your precinct is not really doing anything to figure out where they are and so, you choose to try to figure out some things yourself. Now, the lady told me that she hasn't seen him in a couple days. Would you leave in your police car? No, especially not if you're trying to figure things that the police department itself is, well, letting lie. Sounds like we've got a rogue officer on our hands. Damn, should have asked if they had another car. Mm -hmm. If he didn't take his police car, he's either on foot or taking a different way. Most likely in plain clothes or something else along those lines. Investigating on his own. Well, I have his number. I'll look into it later. Hey, might be something worth looking into, depending on what they've found out. So, you guys, um... So, you guys make your way back to... Well... Evelyn's Grotto. Unless you guys say otherwise, I'm going to assume you're going to go back there just because it's getting late and you guys are a little bit exhausted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, if that, the other two. So, as you guys are going down the other way, can you make me... Both make me says base, base perception or investigation? Because you are kind of investigating the area and see if you notice anything um, different there. My rolls are not great tonight. I think the highest we've had is a 17, and that was the investigation check. The highest we got was a nat 20 from the baker. Look, that baker, she's stealing all the luck, but damn, was that a good sandwich. It was a it very was good, a good sandwich. sandwich. So at least we got that. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, wild card, roll. <laughs> well, shoot. My bad. I got distracted like my character. Oh no, they're ah. this. I am powerful. <laughs> Good eye. Wow. Good job, Ace. <laughs> wow, okay. The sandwich gave me powers beyond recognition. Can, can we have that sandwich as part of the menu? <laughs> Alright. So. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take our final break because we we have about two more scenes to do, and then I'll probably call it here. Um, so let me because okay, I gotta prep something real quick. Nat twenty, that was a persuasion check. <laughs> you didn't even roll the right thing. Dang it! it doesn't matter. It's still a nat twenty. Ooh. Um, let me. We'll just change it to a 21. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, I'm taking the net 20, so right, you're good. Uh... I'll be right back then. How's everybody? I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm yes, enjoying. it's it's hilarious that Thrash might uh might be the one that finds the most important clue by accident. Depending, it'll be funny. You guys walking down the street and you just kind of bump into him. <laughs> You fight him! You <laughs> capture him. Campaign over. <laughs> Where did that go? Okay, here we go. Uh, the ability to take maps from other campaigns is a godsend. I'm so happy they have that in Roll20. So in case important. for in instances where I don't necessarily have a map prepared, I can be like, yeet, <laughs> take something that I've already made forever ago. Wait a minute, this is Westwood. <laughs> <laughs> No one will notice us for going from pixelized maps to this. No way. Completely different, yeah. Just completely natural. Okay, okay. I didn't call for it, but thanks for letting me know that you're back. <laughs> that's what you did last time. <laughs> well, that's because I called for it and you weren't here, so... I need to I need to change a few things real quick on quick adjustments. All right, we should be good to go. 
You shouldn't be have given me that sandwich. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and count that as the uh, energizing loaf in your digestion buffs. Okay. So if you want to pop that later or during the rest of the night, you can. All right. Let me. Oh, God, I this this campaign takes too many maps, and it's 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 so confusing trying to go through them. It's like which, where is it? <laughs> We're surviving. I think I am good. All right, so who is back? Go ahead and give me the pluses in. Everybody already did it, but I'm asking for it again. All right. All right, everybody's back. All right. So we're going to follow up <laughs> the I'm feral bad. hound that is <laughs> wild card. <laughs> Switch up the music a little bit. Always expect the unexpected. Nope. Nah, nah. It's one of your unknown unknowns. One of those things you don't know that you don't know. Yeah. Yes. So you guys kind of follow the south path for a bit making your way throughout the city, kind of making your way back to town, or to town, to Evelyn's Grotto. You you, you start heading your way, also by kind of keeping a lookout, going kind of a southern path and looping around. You spend your time just kind of watching, making sure to see anything out. It's very hard to track somebody without really knowing where they're going, etc. So you... Wild card. Good old Ace Spades. Yeah. It's it's strange to you for a moment as you catch out of the corner of your eye, almost like something is shifting through the shadows, kind of head down this kind of sh side path. It almost moves, and then it's gone. But you get the sense that it is going down that direction. I think I saw something going down that way. I can't be 100% certain. Might have been an animal, but it also could be a person. Should we go and check? Mm -hmm. It kind of hurt to try. Probably don't need to go too far, but it won't hurt just to go and look around. Yeah. So you, this good. path actually kind of goes off to the uh, like right, so you, you're I guess left with the way you guys are going. So it does kind of, it is an alternate route for you to head back to uh, the grotto. So you're not going off path per se, it looks like it's kind of heading in that general direction. 
Um, so I will take you back over here to this street. So you guys step forward a little bit. Wildcard, you kind of like lead for a bit. You stop hit here for a moment. And for a second, you see something shift out of the corner of your eye. Kind of reflecting a little bit off the light, you see something move. Like almost from this tree in front of you, over and you kind of hear it for a moment. You hear something like pick up, plop. You follow it, you follow the sound, you take a few steps, you look around, you look. And for a moment... You see something staring at you. At the top of this roof, something is leaning down. Someone that their skin almost blends into the background. Almost making them fade in and out. And they look down at you, and for a moment, you make eye contact with them. There's a surprised look to their face. They pop back on the roof and disappear out of your way. And then you hear it. You hear the... You hear the footfalls of this person run across the roof. You hear a jump landing over on this wrong layer, landing over on this roof and proceeding to make their way down the street. Roof by roof. You hear that? I'm assuming he's the one hearing most of the. Yeah, you 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 hear like the footfalls definitely afterwards, but you didn't see anything. So okay. you kind of hear like movement, and that's about it. To him, he, he can like clearly tell where it's going, etc. I hear something, but I don't know where it's at. This way. Sprinting along, chasing a purple. Is it really necessary to sing? Uh, no, not really. It just helps you feel good. Because you guys are starting Calms to my nerves. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you make your way back. It's eventually it's you keep following it and eventually the you kind of the movement that you hear wild card stops. And to your surprise. So you you end up kind of curves back to one of the main roads and you follow along and eventually you lose track of it just kind of aimlessly going down the way a little bit you actually end out outside right here losing complete track of where they went but you do ah. see someone pull up we're back at the hotel Oh, this looks good timing. More than normal. <laughs> Damn it. Whatever that was, it got away. Dang it. You look at my top left. What happened? I saw something. It seemed like it was almost invisible i think go moving away i managed to spot it just barely and it started running and so we chased after it must have lost it invisible he nodded oh he brought uh, food as well he smiles <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Any booze? No, it was a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> the silence is deafening. <laughs> Just pulls Sir, out. Uh... Pulls out his flask. He takes a swig you... and puts it back. Sir, do you eat? Hey, hey, just out of curiosity, you marking those, uh, swigs? Well, that was the first one, so yeah. 
Okay, I think you did one in the opening, but I'm not gonna count it against I you. I didn't so... drink it. It got spilled on me. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so make sure to keep track of those. And upping the correct amount of uh, stats there. Anywho, continue. Sir, do you eat anything? I don't think I've ever seen you eat. Of course I eat. How I offer you these baked goods and all you can think about is beer. Beer is food. Beer is a drink. No, no, technically he's not wrong. Beer is like liquid bread. I, I mean, I guess, but... You should... Weird way to put it, but sure. You, sh you should probably have, like, actual solid food. In any case, we might need to put a report in, then. If there's someone... Or something... Invisible skulking about. Either that means that someone has some very, very good adaptive camouflage, which, uh... Do our R&D guys even have that kind of stuff? I do not know. I'm usually left out on the loop on these kinds of things. You can roll an int, int checks just to kind of get some lore to see what you know. Anybody can feel free to roll that I'm and to sure see what they what know about in terms. Yeah, I don't. I don't think a lot of people have high intel necessarily out of this it's group fine. either. I think you guys suck at intel and strength. Is <laughs> your two like <laughs> suck? Right. Um, there is some cases of like planes and other sort of stuff like that uh, that have technology that allows them to reflect, basically reflect the light in a way and just kind of blend in or kind of reflect what is on the other side, you know, in the system of cameras or whatnot to kind of create this illusion of them blending into the background. But other than people or like suits, nah, that not from your knowledge anyways. So it's entirely possible that there's more than one gifted in town. Speaking of which, did either of you find anything? Uh, a few clues that we can go over as we're going to town on some of those baked goods, but nothing substantial at the moment. A few new leads, a few dead ends. I guess it'd be best to discuss inside, huh? Probably. I bet the pool has nice lawn chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I probably don't, sir. So yeah, you guys proceed to start making your way down this way. There is a door up here, by the way, but any of your key cards <laughs> don't work on it. So you just kind of <laughs> loop down this way. Y'all make your way, and then you hear something. In the silence of this night in this ghost town, you hear it. Footfalls. Slow. down you look around and the lights around you the lamp light that kind of illuminates this area start to flicker and slowly go out uh oh you look done someone slowly walking with each step, just casually. Do, 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 do. <sighs> well, look what we have here. <sighs> Can you also do me a favor and hop town? It'll make this a whole lot easier for me and you. I think that's the guy we're looking for. Corey uh, immediately pulls out his pistol and aims at him, kind of moving around. Dying. He just puts his hands up. Look, I don't want any violence if we don't have to get to it, but if you guys don't leave, we're going to have to force you to. Kind of cracks one of his knuckles. <laughs> this man is wearing a full black track suit. 
that is pretty I... much all he's wearing. Oh. As to why we need to skip town so urgently. You're getting into things that you don't belong in. Pop down you? so you don't thing. cause a problem. <laughs> What was that? I did cut you off on accident there. That sounds like you're getting involved in some rather troublesome things as well, then. Having to walk around and be the muscle, as it were. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the muscle. So I take it you guys are not going to leave. We do have get... a job. Buddy. I like getting paid. It's nice. He kicks his kicks his foot for a moment. So be it then. <laughs> he he laughs for a moment. Can't say I didn't warn you. He gets it. All the lights start to flicker around and to go back to being off. You see electricity pull around him. And with that. It's initiative. Uh oh. So I will state, so as for your guys', is, there's we're just gonna assume all your weaponry is in the truck. I don't think you guys unloaded it into a sketchy motel. So <laughs> we'll assume that it's in the back of the truck. You can go over there, use your main action to grab whatever you have. For those who don't really have much, I think Dahi really doesn't need it. Um your knives, I don't think you would carry those around, etc. You would have to get that. Um, right. your endless amount of playing cards would probably be in there, I would imagine. <laughs> Damn. Um, so, let me get this music kicking up. All right. So, if you need a refresh on how to roll initiative on your character, I can give it to you real quick. <laughs> Let me double check what this man's at. I've done it again. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. All our luck. I gotta Thanks, double buddy. check. <laughs> Every two, let's let's go with no, let's go with that. That works. All right, so that would be four additional. God, this kid walked in here being all like, "You're in the wrong neighborhood." Twenty-two, oh, Jesus. No <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys. He, let's see if he cares. <laughs> All right, he can, he's going to use one of his abilities to pop some electricity into himself to increase his initiative for the rest of the game, so he goes first. <laughs> but we made him use it early. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I need to make sure I keep track of his overall. <laughs> yeah. You see as his hair begins to rise up, as electricity begins to kind of pull around him. And... Alright. Okay. Let me see this. So, also, <laughs> I forgot to mention this. Let me, let me add two of the multiple times of the turn order. Because, in fairness of you guys just not annihilating him, he gets multiple actions in a go. Fair enough. He's very fast. So if there was less of you in this instance, he would have... Uh, I, I would have balanced it differently. He would have had one. Um, so in case you guys... It goes him, two of you, him, two of you, him. All right, for starters, Dahi, you immediately see him starting... To grit his teeth and the kind of this kind of electricity starts flowing out from his body. His hair begins to raise, and for a moment, you see it. He's starting to blur. 
Well, that can't be good. And in, with a gust of air, he's gone. Uh-oh. Yep, definitely not good. Maybe he just left. In a so moment, just... in a split second, Dahi, he appears right in front of you. Nope, didn't leave. Slamming his fist down towards you. Let me, let me. Um... So agility plus, boop. Oh, he rolled pretty good. He did, he did. Let me see. Perry, 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 Perry. Hmm, we're gonna... We're gonna use two luck points to flip that parry. Hmm. Okay, that would make the four to 16, right? No, because I rolled a two. Oh, so that would make it a 19, so we would parry by a few. Yes. So, with incredible speed, he takes, like, he points his hands straight and, like, jabs into you. And you, like, basically... <laughs> he, he goes in for it, and you, you see your eyes go wide for a moment, and you, you, like, step out of the way, unable to really dodge on this. And he, he hits you, and he you, you feel the impact, but he hit right where your wallet was basically stopping the blow it is a pretty thick wallet <laughs> all those all those <laughs> dollar dollar bills all right against it's your go okay um do we just need to be adjacent to the vehicle to get to weapon or what yes. there's no in particular door as long as you're like near it i guess you you, you get it i i no, I, w I would say in the back because there's a door on the side there's a door in the back i say it's in the back so as long as you're in the adjacent you can grab it your stuff and how does it work with everyone like in between you can allies you can move through okay so so it's safe to say i could get to the back of the vehicle right so, now yeah um i'm not going to be mean to you and provoke attack of opportunity or anything like that just go ahead and just go ahead and remove that little spot on you and that would be your action to load up your stuff Dahi it's your go I feel like being point blank with um with the lightning man is a bad idea also it's very difficult for us to get shots off on him right now yeah, so I'm just going to take, like, a step back, and then pull the revolver out and shoot. Okay. So, yeah, so it's, there is attack of opportunities in this. However, it takes your shift action to uh, disengage. Um, so you can basically just go ahead and just use your shift and disengage one back. You don't have any more, and then you, you can pop your shot. Pew pew. Granted, he probably has really good dodging. <laughs> Yeah, like that. <laughs> so yeah, he he blurs for an instant. You feel as you're getting grabbing your like sniper rifle, everything on the back of it. You feel a weight impact the top of it. He's up here, and you see the car, the front of it, start almost sparking as it just kind of flows up the metal into him. Fraser. The kind of the lights of the car start flashing wildly and then just dim out completely. I gotta roll something. Ah, uh, that's really unfortunate. He rolled. He regained his the least amount of points possible. So. I am coming to the realization of the way his kit works. Having him roll go twice kind of does not work out. So I'll give you guys a little, little clap with the back. You only have to fight him with one action. <laughs> Up his initiative re-increased. There we go. Just wanted to drink tonight. And uh, Corey is going to pop off 
a shot with this pistol at him. Okay. Yeah, he, he kind of blurs for a moment, and he, he's, like, over here this way. Amelia, looking down at you as you put on the sniper rifle on your back. It's somewhat intimidating. Oh, that was such a <laughs> crappy roll. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, right, old card. You still have your movement action, by the way, Ian, if you want to do that, to go ahead and move yourself yeah. wherever you want to. Uh, I'm going to go for my knives. And... The sh shock disruptor. Uh, he's on a... You're going to have to get on that... It, it's like a, one of those, like, 12 passenger vans. You're, you're going to have to get up on that van in order to do any sort of melee attacks against him because he's, like, a level higher than you. Mm-hmm. And that's considered a melee attack, so you would have to, like, come over this way and then, like, try to climb up, which would be a check. Right. You could just roll acrobatics if you want to flip up there. All right. <laughs> I didn't expect your van to be the center point of this combat, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and give me an acrobatics check for that. Yeah, that's Not fine. Bad. You, you kind of you, you kind of get that where it's like you land on your belly on the thing and you just kind of pull yourself up, <laughs> rotate up. It's, yeah. it's not smooth. You look at him, he turns around towards you. I do a small wave. <laughs> Sparks uh, go around his fists. What are you doing? You're going to try to attach the uh, disruptor to him? I am going to go in. I'm, so I'm going to hold it out and I'm going to like hold it out to like lunge at him and then grapple him. Oh, okay. Oh, the one thing I wrote... I don't think I wrote it in there. So if he is currently under a state of grapple and then somebody tries to attach it to him, it automatically successes. Mm -hmm. Because he can't he can't actively roll back. So if you, like, All attempt right. to grapple him down and then toss the device to somebody else to put it on him, that's a way that you can do this. So to All grapple... Right. Grappling is typically strength versus strength, but I think you have a special thing here. I do. You gonna activate that? You might want to remind oh, yeah. me what that is. So, <laughs> I activate cow wrestling with paw. So basically, on a on a failed grapple roll, I can okay re roll it. And... It's failed. It, it, you don't have to activate it yet. So yeah. strength versus but his I, strength. I'm holding it as like a thing. Yeah. So he has an advantage where he can roll his agility instead of strength versus you. Yeah. So 19. I don't know if you can beat that with a base roll, but go ahead and roll it to see what it is. Nope. Activating your reroll. <laughs> Even with a plus five, that you don't beat it. Yep. <laughs> you you kind of reach out and for a moment you you like you try to grab towards <laughs> him, try to grab onto his uh uh his collar just to get any sort of grip on him. And he, he like looks at you so confused for a moment, like, what, what the hell, we're fighting. And he just kicks off this back, flips and lands, impacting the ground here, sparks going everywhere. I face Is plant. his go? I face plant on the he puts his hands together wow. and it's just kind of, you can see the shocks, the electric energy building up and going out around him. And he just, in one instance, releases a blast towards you, Amelia. And this... Yeah. <laughs> he puts up, releases a single blast towards you. Let me roll this for him. This costs him a lot, dear lord me. Uh, <laughs> he's. I feel bad for you guys. He's rolling very high. Um... That is a 24 towards you. And then it hits three targets. So Dahi and um, Frazier, you, you guys will have to. No, that wouldn't make sense. I, I think it's going to hit wild card. Yeah. Hey, Frazier, you're fine. You're fine. So it basically arcs off of her and hits uh, all of you. So this is. This is toughness. Well, not toughness directly, but uh, dodge and then toughness. All right. Okay. This drops him down a lot of points. All 
All right. Hits everybody. Go ahead and give me <laughs> toughness checks. Okay, let me... Amelia, you take three injuries and are paralyzed because he rolled so well. <laughs> We're back. We haven't missed anything. <laughs> Everyone got Yay. paralyzed and took a lot of injuries. Yay. Hooray. <laughs> Woo, ow. We did it. <laughs> Anywho, I believe we already figured out all the injuries and stuff, so it is your go, Fraser, if you're good. So, Raginsky, right. you're paralyzed as you're, like, spazzing out from the electricity flowing into your body. Same thing with Dahi. It's your go. Oh, God. Why does everything have to be so difficult? One, two, three, four, and then he's going to fire his pistol at him again. Actually, can I? Hold on. <clears throat> you do have a pistol ability, right? If you don't move, you can shoot twice. Did you take that? I think I did. Kind of find. It should it be there. in advantages. Yeah, I can use my full action like two. Yeah, but I don't think I'd be able to shoot him from here. Uh, let's check the range real quick for you. Uh, he's technically on that twenty-five. You have a range extension on your pistol, so you should be able to hit him. Can I shoot through Dahi though? Um, you could probably push him out of the way. I would allow that. Okay, then yeah. I'll... Also, like, I imagine you just, like, he's spazzing out and you just place your arms on his shoulders to use him as support <laughs> to shoot at him. Yeah, oh, that yeah. fits, fits Corey so well. Alright, yeah, Corey's gonna make two shots at him. Alright. God. Uh, let me double check. So he's at that. So this should be only two. Yeah, that's right. Um. So let me. Oop. Okay, that might glitch. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh god. <laughs> he seems almost out of breath as you run up and you just take a few shots at him, and he. He shifts over the like he he spe like disappears almost blurs in for an instance and appears back over here. Ah, oh, that almost uh, that almost hit me. Come on. You're starting to piss me off. <laughs> going over to wild card. I am going to activate. You're, unless you have anything to cancel paralyzation, I think I think that's your turn. There it is back here. Sorry, <laughs> I should have like just skipped I was, over you. I was gonna do a thing. No. Nah. Right. Unfortunate. All right. He instead he 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 reaches into one of his pocket. He flips out a knife. You can see sparks running up the metal of the blade, and he's just gonna run in and swing at you. Seventeen. Hey, he's rolling low. Er. <laughs> Ah, how do you block this as he comes in at a knife at extreme speed, aiming for your gut? Uh, Corey kind of like steps to the side and pushes his arm down. Yeah, you push his, you step to the side, push his arm down, and he's like stumbles a little bit forward. Raginsky, it's your go. Okay. First of all, she's going to calm down a little question mm -hmm. on the powers and devices can certain can those be used with any weapon or i guess specifically disabling or does that have to be the rifle no that can be used with any range weapon i think that's the limitation in certain cases we'll actively state what it is but i think disabling shot you can use with whatever sweet so, walk me through how I would do this with a throwing star. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me what body part you're aiming at. <laughs> um, and then, so with powers, what you'll do is, under the power, it says, like, a, what stat it's tied to, right? 
So go back to your stats and skills, roll what that is, and then tell me what it is adding the total rank of that skill with it. Does that make sense? Uh, dex modifier plus rank. So roll a dex roll, and then look what the rank is, and add that to whatever the result is. Two, so 21. 21. Where are you aiming? Uh, we'll go for a leg. All right. a ninja star at the way. Ninja Jesus. star! <laughs> Get to see fucking ninja star! Uh... What? Come on! I am going to activate luck to turn that 15 to a 5. Nice! You are within 15 feet! <laughs> 15 Thank to you. a 5, so that would be... Yeah, that would still be... I think that would be a 14. So, uh, he starts to, like, r like, he steps forward. He takes a few steps back from you, Fraser, like, getting the distance from him. He takes a step back this way, turns to see you chucking a ninja star at him. <laughs> and he, like, what? He's just, like, stunned for a second. Is he, it's ninja star, what? And he, like, ah, oh, shit, right. And he, like, takes a step back as it comes, uh, you release it from your hands. He trips over a rock. And it just stabs into his leg and goes, ah, damn. <laughs> uh, that would, let's see yeah. how much injuries that you do three to him. Yes. <laughs> Revenge. Yeah. This is blood Revenge. starts going down his pant leg. So I'm going to mark him as that leg currently. I don't know how, does it state how long it lasts on your sheet? Uh, 15 plus calls us disabled for two rounds. Okay, for two rounds, he is... He has one foot, so he'll be slower. And when does the bleeding effect trigger? That triggers at the beginning of his turn, I believe. Oh, right. He's got to use an action to take At the end of his turn, it. yeah. Yeah, Yeah. okay. Gotcha. So, thank you for letting me know that he was bleeding. Because I would have skipped over that for sure. Um, we'll go with this, this heart. There we go. He's loving the blood going down his leg. Dahi, it's your go. Well, we're just gonna take another pot shot now that there's a, a ninja star embedded in his leg. Active, actually, uh, not the. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. He's going to activate a priority ability. Shocking discovery. Half movement. He can get to... Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, he, he speeds up this way. And you see the, the lights of the car start flashing on. And off again rapidly. Uh, might I interrupt him? Uh, no. Unless you have a priority, I guess. Technically. I do have an interrupt move. Okay. Interrupted what? works differently. Priority you can use between turns, so interrupt would outweigh his priority move. Okay. I'm using Lucky Strike, then, where I am going to effectively see him teleport and punch him straight in the kidney. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that, and then his will go off after yours. Not enough to stun, but that's a 14. That's a parry. He has way less parry, but he still is able to block it. He, like, he he vamps over there, basically. You see him blur past you, and then he, like, stops, and he's, like, limping on the side of his leg. Like, he was planning on going much farther than that. And you just see this moment of, like, hesitation in him, and you just go for his gut, and he, like, grabs your fist for a moment, and he's like, ah, ah, ah! <laughs> And then he's going to strike you. <laughs> that is a 21. Uh, parry, because we're melee. Yes. Well. Go ahead and roll toughness. A 21. One. That does two. 
as he yep. just stabs you right back in the gut, exact same place you were aiming. Ah, oh, you rat bastard. All right, back to Fraser. Hmm. I, uh, Furry is going to use Taste My Lead. I don't remember what this is. But... Uh, it's the suppression one. Okay. Uh, actual plus two. 17. Okay, that's dodge. Let me see. You get him. Nice. That does still do damage, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll roll toughness for him. Damn. All right. Nice. And since I rolled a 17, it causes suppression. All right. Ooh. Remind me, it should be written down in your sheet, but suppression fully does. Uh. The, the target attacks at disadvantage, and if they try to move, I attack them with advantage. Okay. God, this poor man. You have thoroughly sh thr or sh uh, slowed him down. All right. Yeah, you you just start unloading your the clip of your pistol, just gunning him. He's, he gets hit several times. He was a little bit gloating his hit back at Dahi a little bit, where he wasn't paying attention fully. He turns around and he's just shooting him. So in panic, he puts his hands up, so he's kind of protecting his head. Wild card, here we go. Uh, so, remind me again how cone works. A cone of 15 feet. Oh, uh, one tile off of you, and then okay. it spreads from there. So... You're kind of off a tile right now, but like, if you did it, you could aim one at him, or it's like this, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if is that on. Yeah, you guys can see that. Or it's one from you. If you do a diagonal, it's a little different. All right. All right. Um, so wondering... Dahi would. No, there's a way that you could do it where Dahi isn't hit. Yeah. I want to do it that way. <laughs> um, let me grab you. Let's say you're here. And then you would do it this way. You would still hit. I don't think there's a way for you to do this without any, without yeah. Dahi or that's, Fraser getting hit. That's what I was thinking. And that sucks. All right. Then I'm just going to. Ooh. I am right on top of him. <laughs> I am going to jump. Try jumping on top of him to try to grapple again and use the device. Okay, so are you making a grappling check or are you trying to do the device? Because those are different. The device is versus his acrobatics roll, which I'll give him a negative modifier. So he's being freaking... He has disadvantage because of suppression and then... The leg. The leg. I'm, I'm going to do the device. Okay. Because he's pretty close. What do I need to roll for that? Acrobatics or athletics, whatever is higher for Sweet. you, I would use, and it's versus his acrobatics or athletics. Oh. <laughs> right. So there is a benefit of trying to grapple him beforehand because, you know. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm right next to him. All right. I'm going to roll my acrobatics. It's pretty good. Uh, he rolled a 19. Oof. You mean he rolled a 2? <laughs> Uh, did you use your free action already, though? Did I? This turn? I'm trying to think. You used it on... It might have not been this round. But I haven't used my shift action this turn, either. So you can pop the... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you attach it to him. So yeah, you, you jump, tackling him to the ground, and Fraser... Thank God, you know, you have good trigger discipline. Or you actually continue to shoot. I wouldn't I wouldn't blame you <laughs> to continue to shoot at him. No, he purposely, he purposely suppressed him so that Ace could get down there, so he'd stop shooting once he sees him. Yeah, you stop shooting as he jumps, barreling him into the ground, and he's, he's laying on the ground looking up to you, and he's trying to push you off, and you just take this, like, weird mechanical device that's about the size of a baseball and just shove it into his chest. You hear... 
well, it's not active, but uh, activated yet. But you hear as you press it in and hit the button on the side, as like these four little like prongs come out and dig through his through his uh, his shirt into his skin as he goes, "Oh Jesus!" Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, sorry about this, bud. All right, so he pushes you off. <laughs> uh, I, I would say the suppression is down. That would make the most sense there. Yeah. This is his last turn with this. He has it on it, so he can try to pull it off. He's sitting there just trying to get it off, and he, he like, pulls it a little bit, and you, you can see... Oh, he is no longer in this face. <laughs> What's the matter? Having some problem there, boy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> every time he tries to pull it, he goes, ah! As it's, like, ripping his skin off every time he tips it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are jackasses. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> Brzezinski, are you activating it? <laughs> yes, I'll I'll hit the button. So, in an instance, this thing lights up, and there's this small hum to it, and it, as of a reflect. <laughs> so, just to explain this to you guys, this device makes him expels all of the electricity that is in his system at once. Oh. Meaning, you two chuckle fucks that are smug as all get out are about to basically get hit by a wave of electricity. Cool. Hey, we deserve it. We're being smug ass hats. Yeah. He rolls well. Let's see. This is discharge, uh, I guess would be the easiest way. Now, nah, let's just do that then. Uh... Awareness 21. He has to expel every single point he has on him. So he has... Seven. That is a 35. <laughs> you guys not rolling into saying, hey, I, I take three injuries. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you wow. immediately get a burst of electricity comes out. You launch back this way. You get launched, slam into this fit... Uh, Fence. Both of you guys kind of like take steps back as it happens. As he scre screams as just boom. the just the entirety of pretty much probably any of the electronics in the uh, the building in front of you just probably spazzed out as he falls to his knees, hands shaking. There's just a part of him. His hair always had this like slight glow to it. He just becomes super glim and very slow. Ah! Initiative's over in this case. He, he has zero. And I... Uh, I'm gonna keep that because he still has that in in case someone... Let me change the music real quick. He falls to his knees, shaking, almost in a daze. His, I will read to you his flaw for a moment. When Francis has zero battery points, he suffers zero initiative, zero to all his defenses, and he is unable to gain battery points for a decent amount of time. So you have probably, you have no idea your character, like, you could probably piece together with that device in him, um, and what, uh, Eugene was talking about, he probably has lacked the ability to currently absorb electricity for probably an hour. That device won't last long, so. What are you guys doing with this man? <laughs> we should tie him up to a chair and put him in the bathroom with all the lights off. <laughs> Roll me an int check. <laughs> uh, I love a little bit of... Um, yeah. Oh, no. I'm sure with the lights off, that means you can't absorb it, right? This is, this is not how it works. <laughs> what did you do to me? Ugh. Uh. <laughs> you guys, that's funny. 
<laughs> you both deserve that for sure. I think. Can you take this off oh, of that... me? Is that my lung? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's All right. My, my cards, I think. So, with that, as you gather him and make up your decisions, we'll save that for the next time. Give you guys time to plan out exactly what you're going to do with this man. Yeah. I have some fishing line we can tie hog tie him with. <laughs> so, so yeah, first session is completed. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I, I have think we did pretty trees. good. Campaign's over. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. If only it were that easy. Yeah. Uh, that would be. That honestly would be funny. <laughs> But yeah, this is over. Um, with that in mind, there's only one thing to announce. Is we do have... We did a session zero, like, a month ago at this point, but we did one. It is now officially live up on the YouTube. Yay. So, let me, let me pop that in the chat real quick. So yeah, uh, over at the YouTube, all these will be uploaded because, A, we're not, you know, like... Um, partnered or anything like that where we can actively re-upload them here. So they'll all be categorized at the YouTube in a nice little playlist for anybody who wants to watch it, including this one right now. Um, other than that, thank you, Peter Soul, for following. Unfortunately, with the way these work, it's kind of hard to keep up with activity while going live. Mm -hmm. Um... But uh, thank you, nevertheless. Uh, and with that, everybody, unless anybody has anything to say, I, I think that's a good point to end the first stream of this. Well, I just want to say, I think that was a shocking first initiative. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> I'm just I, glad I managed to hit with the star the first time I used it. <laughs> yeah, hold up. Are you a ninja? No. Okay. Okay, okay, I feel like, you know, I'm cutting it at that, that, that pine. Cut the stream! Cut the stream! Yeah, <laughs> it's over! <laughs>